When you ask for... The Clubhouse of Spearfish, located on East Colorado Boulevard, has four high-quality golf simulators with a large selection of courses and leagues. They also offer virtual games such as shooting football and baseball and have shuffleboards and cornhole. The Clubhouse offers a full menu with live music on Sundays. You can host an event such as birthday parties, wedding rehearsals, dinner, or holiday parties. The Clubhouse of Spearfish is a proud sponsor of area high school sports on Live Ticket TV. Whether you're pregnant or planning ahead, you and your baby deserve a healthy start. We offer a wide range of services such as advocacy, health screenings and education, care coordination and car seat safety, participant empowerment, referral services and fatherhood support. To learn more about Great Plains Healthy Start, visit greatplainstravelhealth.org or call one of our five service areas today. Brought to you by Great Plains Healthy Start, so that the people may live. Do you have a pest problem? Got bats, ants, termites? Family owned and operated, Olson's Pest Technicians have had over 50 years experience taking care of pest problems in places across South Dakota, Nebraska, and Iowa. Utilizing brilliant methods such as Centricon bait stations for termites and Vicane treatment for bed bugs, there's no pest too tough for Olson's Pest Technicians. If you have pest problems, call 800 Kill Bugs. When you ask for Black Hills Surgical Hospital, you ask for someone who believes in hospitality. You ask for someone who treats everyone like a VIP and believes the absolute best shouldn't cost more and makes you feel comfortable even when you are vulnerable. You ask for someone who cares about the little things as much as the big things. You ask for someone who treats you like you are loved because you are. Black Hills Surgical Hospital. Ask for us by name. Here's how the rest of things go, and we're going to go in batting order for the scoops. Bo Peters will bat first, wearing number seven tonight. He'll be playing the shortstop position, wearing number 32. Batting in the second position is Jake Peters. He'll be out at second base. Batting third will be George Hamer. He'll be catcher tonight for the Sturgis Scoopers in game number one. He'll be wearing number eight. In the cleanup spot will be Xander Heller. He wears number 12. He'll be in center field. Batting fifth is Brody Royer. He'll be at third base. He wears number 23 today. Barrett Patterson will bat six. He'll wear number 21, and he'll be our designated hitter in the pitcher's spot for Dylan Christensen in the batting order. Then number seven, Bryson Harry will be playing right field, batting seventh. He wears number two. Batting eight will be Jaron Andrzejewski. He's left field today. He'll be wearing number 18 and... Rounding out the batting order today will be Dalen DeShock here in game number one. He'll be wearing number 14, and Dalen will be playing first base today. So that's how things go for your Sturgis Scoopers. Because Rapid City Central got here late, we don't have their uh, lineup card here. So uh, we're going to try to get those for you here as we uh, move along here today. So the Sturgis Scoopers will, of course, be in the outfield and the infield here to start. And, of course, the Rapid City Central Cobblers will be batting first as we have the top of the inning ready to go. Again, Terry Anders will be with us here momentarily. He's working his way to the ballpark. And we are about ready to go with our first batter up for Rapid City Central. Again, Dylan Christensen, our starting pitcher. And catching today will be George Hamer. He'll be behind home plate. And our first batter heads to the mount, to the uh, home plate here for Rapid Looking City Central. And Carter Utecht will take that. Lakin Utecht will be our leadoff batter here for Rapid City Central. And he is a left-handed hitter. Black uniforms today for Rapid City Central. Here's our first pitch. First one is up high, and that'll be ball one to get things started. Lakin wearing number one on his jersey today, and number one in the batting order. So oh, uh, one and oh the count. Got Lakin to go around on that one. That is strike number one. 
And an even count, one and one, for Dylan Christensen to get things started. UTEC waiting for that second pitch. Here it comes. Swings on that one, goes around, and that is strike number two. Christensen would love to start here with a strikeout on Lake and UTEC, the leadoff batter for Rapid City Central. That one, he struck him out, got him going around. Strike three. Christensen, down, UTEC. Up to bat next for Rapid City Central. Will be number two, right handed hitter. First pitch coming, and he swings on this one. Go around and a miss there. Now Atkinson for the Cowboys. This is Brian Atkinson at the mound now for Rapid City Central. Second in the batting order and wearing number two. That one a little up high, and that'll be ball one. So that'll even the count here, one and one for Christensen versus Atkinson. Even pitch coming, 1-1 one, one swing on this one. Sends it out into the center field, shallow center field. That one's caught cleanly out there by Xander Hiller. And that is Xander out number two. Out. Two, out, so two away here in the top of the first inning. Just underway at strong field. Now batting number four, Carter Utech. Now Carter Utech will step to the plate. He wears number four, third in the batting order for Rapid City Central. He's a left-handed hitter. Lefty goes to work on Christensen, who is a right-handed pitcher. His first pitch, little outside the strike zone. That'll be ball one. Want to know to get things started for Carter Utech. Two away here, top of the first inning. Carter swings on this one, goes around, strike one. That'll even up the count. Good high-flying fastball there by Dylan Christensen, who's got one strikeout on the day. He'll deliver the even 1-1 one, one pitch. Here it comes, this one down low in that low corner for ball two. So two and one goes the count. Next pitch up, swing and a miss on that one for strike two. He may have gotten just a little piece of that one, but it still ended up in Hamer's glove behind home plate for Sturgis. So two balls, two strikes. Here comes Christensen's pitch. That one's at the knees inside. And that was a hit by pitch. It actually got him in the knees. And that will send him on to first base on the hit by pitch. So Central gets a man on base. No batting, number 10, Tanner Staller. Tanner Staller next to the plate now. He wears number 10 for Rapid City Central, fourth in the batting order. And he takes strike one from Christensen. So the count 0-1. Utech on base after being hit by pitch. Here's the next pitch, up high, ball one. So Christensen has been pretty standard here. Throws the ball here, throws the strike next. Oh, and there goes the attempt at stolen base. This one's up high for ball two, and that will be successful as Hamer drops the high pitch. And a successful stolen base for Carter Utech as he makes his way to third base. Meanwhile, Staller at home plate will face a 2-1 and one pitch coming from Christensen. Here's the pitch. Inside at the knees, ball three. So now a 3-1 and one count. Utech, not a very big leadoff here. Now he adds a few inches to it. Out there on second base, Christensen checks him, brings it back, throws a strike, and that's a strikeout. And that's the second strikeout for Dylan Christensen. He has two on that one. The other out was a high pop fly into shallow center field. So the scoopers are up, and up to bat first for the scoopers will be Peters, Bo Peters, then Jake Peters, and George Hamer when we return in 60. In 60.
When you do your grocery shopping, you like to go where you can get fresh meat and produce, low prices, and friendly service. You'll find it all at Lens Dakota Mart in Sturgis. Their meat department has your meat cut fresh daily, a great selection of quality garden fresh produce, a bakery and deli that offers products that are made fresh every day. Their customer service offers money orders, faxes, and many more services. Plus, you'll get service with... Advertising can be a struggle. Where to spend your money? Are you reaching the right audience? If you are looking for an effective method that reaches a large fan base at once, then here's your ticket with Live Ticket TV. With over 90 schools in the state of South Dakota, we can help you advertise locally with just your home team or reach the region and state. Plus, a portion of all sales go directly back to the school. Get a hold of Dylan Kessler today and let's get started in building your brand with Live Ticket TV. Whether you are pregnant or planning ahead, you and your baby deserve a healthy start. We offer a wide range of services such as advocacy, health screenings and education, care coordination and car seat safety, participant empowerment, referral services and fatherhood support. To learn more about Great Plains Healthy Start, visit greatplainstravelhealth.org or call one of our five service areas today. Brought to you by Great Plains Healthy Start, so that the people may live. As your welcoming neighbor, the American in Madison, South Dakota offers genuine hospitality. You'll feel right at home with their friendly service, free Wi-Fi, hot homestyle breakfast every morning, and a heated indoor pool. Their number one priority is making guests feel right at home, offering comfortable accommodations and a caring staff that ensures every stay is memorable. Whether you're traveling for business, visiting friends or family, or just discovering a new destination around Madison, book a room with the American in Madison, South Dakota. 1-1. So Lincoln Utech wearing number one today. He's on the mound start for Rapid City Central as he gets the pitching start. Next pitch. Boy, good pitch right in there. Strike two. And Bo does not budge on that one. I think he thought maybe that one was going to break low and outside. It did not. Next pitch. Got him swinging. There's a strikeout by Lincoln. And one away as Bo Peters goes down swinging. That'll bring to the plate now number 32 for the Sturgis Scoopers, Jake Peters. He, too, is a right-handed hitter. And fans starting to work into the ballpark here on this beautiful evening. This one up high for ball one. Count goes 1-0. and oh. Scooper baseball coming your way here in lieu of the day in review today. This pitch down low, and that's ball two. So Jake Peters goes ahead in the count, 2-0. and oh. That one inside, ball three. So Lakin, after striking out Bo Peters, he is quickly behind in the count here, 3-0. -oh. Let's this one go. Outside, ball four, yep, that'll take a base for Jake Peters. Peters, takes the walk. Peters trots to first. First walk of the day for Rapid City Central. Catcher George Hamer will bat next for the Scoopers. Scoopers in their Reds unis today. Xander Heller batting in the cleanup on deck with one away. Pitch at the elbows and inside, and that gets by the catcher. That's going to allow Jake Peters to steal second base. So the Scoopers get a freebie. Runner at second, count 1-0. and oh For George Hamer. Hamer looks like, I thought maybe he might uh, line up here to maybe try to put down a bunt. Now he puts the bat back up on his shoulder, takes strike one on this one. That one right there. That'll even things up here. One ball, one strike. One one pitch. Outside, ball two. Jake Peters thought about going, but a great job by the Rapid City Central catcher to make sure that didn't run to the backstop.
So 2-1 the count. You check with the pitch. That one's off the pitcher's mound, and it runs into center field. They're going to wave home Jake Peters, and he will score. That is a single RBI for George Hamer. And the Sturgis Scoopers are on the board. So the single RBI by Hamer brings home Jake Peters and a 1-0 lead for the Sturgis Scoopers. They're in the bottom of the first inning. Going to get a pinch runner in here. That's going to be Jack Knutson who will come in at pinch run for George Hamer, who is the catcher for the Scooper, so they'll send him back. That is so he can put his equipment on if necessary with one away. And now Xander Heller at the plate takes strike one from UTEC. So Knutson on first in the pinch run for the Scoopers. Does a little bit of a lead off here off that first base bag. 0-1 pitch coming, swings on this one, and this one's blooped high in the left field. Should be an easy field out there, and it is for out number two. Knutson will have to go back to first. He had no time to tag up and get to second on that one. He hesitated. He got about a quarter of the way there. Just going to make sure that central left fielder fielded that one cleanly, and he did. Brought it home safely into his mitt. Two away. Brody Royer at the plate now for Sturgis. Right-handed hitter takes this one in there for a strike. Knutson returns to first base, tags up. Bottom of the first. Scooper a score first here. Single RBI. That one breaks and outside the strike zone for ball one. One and one the count. Even count, 1-1 one, one for Royer, and he takes this one down low, outside ball two. So Royer will look at a 2-1 pitch coming, Knudsen off first base. Looking towards second with two away, this one up high, in there for a strike. Nice breaking ball, two and two. is the count. Knutson right back on first base. Now he'll lead off a little bit. Utec looks over his left shoulder, checks him out. Here's the pitch. Even count. Swings. That one is out in the right field, but it goes foul. Good thing for Rapid City Central. That would have dribbled all the way to the fence. Probably would have been a single for Royer, but that certainly would have sent Knutson on to third base. So even count, 2-2 for Royer. Knutson leads off first, about four feet. Swings on this one, he gets a piece of it. Goes to the catcher, quick throw out to first base. will end the first inning. The but the Sturgis Scoopers score first here today. A single RBI bringing home Jake Peters makes this one nothing, And we're back after this 60-second timeout. timeout. When you ask for Black Hills Surgical Hospital, you ask for someone who believes in hospitality. You ask for someone who treats everyone like a VIP and believes the absolute best shouldn't cost more and makes you feel comfortable even when you are vulnerable. You ask for someone who cares about the little things as much as the big things. You ask for someone who treats you like you are loved because you are. Black Hills Surgical Hospital. Ask for us by name. The Clubhouse of Spearfish, located on East Colorado Boulevard, has four high-quality golf simulators with a large selection of courses and leagues. They also offer virtual games such as shooting football and baseball and have shuffle boards and cornhole. The Clubhouse offers a full menu with live music on Sundays. You can host an event such as birthday parties, wedding rehearsals, dinner, or holiday parties. The Clubhouse of Spearfish is a proud sponsor of area high school sports on Live Ticket TV. 
Sports at NorthernHillsEye.com. Sturgis Super Sports, heard on the Big 81, ABHP. One inning in the books, Sturgis Scoopers lead Rapid City Central by the score of one to nothing. Terry Matthews and now Terry Anderson with you here. On this yeah, I, I had bus issues uh, <laughs> on the way back from uh, Nebraska. <laughs> you, had, you had bus issues <laughs> no. too, huh? No, I didn't think so. Uh, just, Rapid uh, City Central did. And that's they, what I heard. Kids had to get their own cars, so I don't know if they ended what? up getting back to Rapid or wow. what happened there. But uh, that's why we were a little late getting started. Not yeah. by much, but... It's okay. Beautiful night. I heard you talking is. a little bit. And 60 degrees, 63, 63 here at the field. Wow. Yeah. Perfect. Couldn't have asked for a better night of baseball here, and... We are early in the season. Scoopers finally got their first game of the season in against Pierre last week, an 11-1 to loss. So trying to turn it around here tonight against Rapid City Central at home. Yeah, it's good to be uh, good to be back in the booth again. It sure is. Yeah. yeah, last week I was gone for Easter, so I listened to you a little bit. Oh, and, uh, sure. Yeah, yeah, you sounded good, but yeah. it's always fun to have two people. It's always good to have <laughs> two people. Christensen back on the mound here for the Scoopers. Big swing and a miss here. Number 11 up to the plate for Rapid City Central. Steven Solano, center fielder. Takes the first strike from Christensen. He is fifth in the batting order. 0-1 pitch coming. That one down low and outside for ball one. So Christensen with a couple of strikeouts. Those happening in the first inning. The other out was the short high fly ball into center field. And that one is going to get fouled back, headed towards Ballpark Road. It will cross the fence out there, so the youngsters who are chasing those down will have to... Have to work for that one. Yep, they're going to have to go around the other way, because I think they got that side fence locked today. So the kids were unable to go through there. Ooh, that another one, one popped off as well, almost the exact same location. Almost got one up in here against the Pier Ooh. Governors last week, Terry, just to let oh. you know. And I seen it coming right at me, and I think it hit <laughs> maybe just a couple inches above. One of these days. Above us there. <laughs> but I was ready for it. They say keep your eye on the ball. Count one and two here. And that one down low, that'll even the count. 2-2 two, two for Christensen versus Solano. Top of the second inning, one nothing lead for the Scoops. Here's the pitch. Swings, and he sends that one out of the center field. It'll roll to the center fielder for a single. So a leadoff single for Solano. How did Central do in the uh, top of the first? Uh, they had uh, a hit by pitch. Was the only person they got on base. And then two strikeouts and a pop fly out. So. Thank you. Yep. And it was Carter Utecht who got hit by pitch. Okay. So he went to first. And then Tanner Staller struck out. Left-handed hitter now to the plate for Rapid City Central. 0-1 is the count. First pitch by Christensen, a strike. This one is blooped up high. And Sturgis should field this one in foul territory, and they do. Foul ball, good play by Brody Royer. Royer, the Brody third out. baseman for the Scoops, able to bring that one in. Now batting second baseman, number 18, Carter Gregory. Carter Gregory now, number 18, will step to the plate. Seventh in the batting order for Rapid City Central. Now well, Christensen was in his pitching stance there. Got out of it quickly. you seen Solano on first base there thinking about maybe going for it. Well, Solano's kind of messing with him there a little bit. He... Thought about going, now he comes back. Christensen, though, maintains his composure. He does throw a strike there. Oh, there goes Solano. See if they catch him. Oh, they should get him here. Depends on if he dropped it. He did. Yep, second baseman dropped the ball. Boy, Solano, gutsy steal there, but if it's successful, it don't matter, and he got there. Yeah, good slide, too, by Solano. Yeah. Got underneath the tag. I think even if the the ball would have, you know, been held on to. He would have Probably been safe. Probably would have been safe, yep. Gregory swings on this one. Shallow left field. This should be caught in the infield there between second and 
third base. That is out number two. Now batting number six, third baseman, Nate Mayluck. This will be Nate Malux, I believe. Yes, sir. Third baseman for the Third Cobblers. Third baseman for the Cobblers. Yep, he'll bat eighth. You know, you know, last year I had really good access to Game Changer, and they switched apps this year. I noticed that when I was trying to get onto it. I was able to get onto it, though, to get the rosters. But they, uh, they, I think they took my payment for the old app, but they want me to pay for the new app, too, and I'm uh, going <laughs> to have to like, make a no. phone call to Game Changer headquarters, <laughs> I think. That went down low for ball one. Yeah, but I, I love having the real-time stats. It's, uh, it is good it's to just, have them. just yeah. great for us up here to yeah. be able to pass it on to the listeners. Maylox with strike. Uh, check that ball one. Now he'll take strike one. That'll even things up here, 1-1. One, one. Home Slice Media's own Brandon Jones out there as a coach for the Rapid City Central Cobblers. Oh, yeah. His boy, Tuck Jones, plays for, plays for Rapid City Central. And, Ooh. boy, chasing Ooh, that one. Good pitch. <laughs> he was going golfing <laughs> on that one. He's thinking Tiger Woods. And I'm going to count one and two. It was way out there and way low. Did you see Bryce Harper last night? Three home runs? I seen that. Three big HRs. Yep. And one of them was a, was a golf swing yep. way yep. down low. Well, but it was right off the fat of the bat. Knocked, yep. knocked it out over the he center did. field fence. There's a strikeout. So Christensen's oh, third three. strikeout of the day. He has three Ks. That'll retire at the top of the second inning. Scoopers lead 1-0. When we return, you're listening to Sturgis Scooper Baseball on the Big 81. Baseball on the Big 81. Whether you're pregnant or planning ahead, you and your baby deserve a healthy start. We offer a wide range of services such as advocacy, health screenings and education, care coordination and car seat safety, participant empowerment, referral services and fatherhood support. To learn more about Great Plains Healthy Start, visit greatplainstravelhealth.org or call one of our five service areas today. Brought to you by Great Plains Healthy Start, so that the people may live. Do you have a pest problem? Got bats, ants, termites? Family owned and operated, Olson's Pest Technicians have had over 50 years experience taking care of pest problems in places across South Dakota, Nebraska, and Iowa. Utilizing brilliant methods such as Centricon bait stations for termites and Vicane treatment for bed bugs, there's no pest too tough for Olson's Pest Technicians. If you have pest problems, call 800 Kill Bugs. When you ask for Black Hills Surgical Hospital, you ask for someone who believes in hospitality. You ask for someone who treats everyone like a VIP and believes the absolute best shouldn't cost more and makes you feel comfortable even when you are vulnerable. You ask for someone who cares about the little things as much as the big things. You ask for someone who treats you like you are loved because you are. Black Hills Surgical Hospital. Ask for us by name. Advertising could be a struggle. Where to spend your money? Are you leaving things up here? One one. So our good friend Tim Potts running around taking pictures today. It was picture day today, so he was getting team pictures on the field earlier this afternoon. This one up high for ball two. Two and one, and his uh, senior pictures of our senior squad are hanging up on the fence here. Come on out, take a look at him. It's a beautiful day at the ballpark. Popcorn smells wonderful. That one in there. No, we're going to call that one down low, ball three. Utech yeah. was thinking, uh, I thought I had that one. Not quite. Yeah, I think Greg Harrington will join us here in a little bit. He talked about stopping oh, by. Oh, okay. Said he'd bring us a hot dog. I should have brought the third mic up, I guess. I thought about it today. There's a strike. That'll be a full count for Patterson. I was going to bring the wireless, actually, and I thought, well, that's extra equipment I have to drag in today. <laughs> With no help. With no help, but that's all Ooh, right. Is that a strikeout? It is. Good one by Utech, the second one. So Utech's got two strikeouts. First one came in the first inning. And who scored the run for the scoops? The scooper run was scored by Jake Peters. Jake Peters. Yep. Okay. How he many? got on base, and Hamer brought him in with the single RBI. Okay. So just one hit in the first for the just scoops? Just one hit so far. Okay. Yep. This one outside for ball one. 
Yeah, so you were in Sioux Falls for the pier game <coughs> last week. How was East River? It this was, weekend good. was good. Yeah, good. a little chilly, but yeah. yeah, we had a terrible drive back on Monday. Oh, I heard the roads were terrible. <laughs> it was nine hours from Sioux Falls oh, to Sturgis. Oh, my, it did take you a while. Oh, it was painful. Yeah. But we made it. Outside ball two, so two and no the count. Bryce and Heron, by the way, are right fielder at the plate for the scoops. I like the jerseys. Oh, he swung at the high one. Yeah, that one's going to go out foul ball. Yeah, nice yeah, looking. they're wonderful. I like the red. It's a beautiful red color. Yeah, they, I had to do a double take because it looked like, is that <laughs> you central? You thought that was central, <laughs> yep. Yeah, nice jerseys. New leadership for the Scooper baseball team this year. Eris Rodriguez is our head coach. Here's the pitch, and I said hi to the coach as I was coming in, but I didn't didn't get a chance to sit down and get some comments from him, but I did say hi to him. And yeah, we'll catch up with him. We'll have to catch up with him as the season progresses, yep. So quickly after a 2-0 count, it's now even. It's 2-2. Ooh, that one in the dirt. So that baseball eats some dirt at home plate. They'll just throw it back out there. In the majors, they would never do that. They'd hand it back to the yeah. umpire, and they would get a new baseball. But high school, those are kind of they're like precious metals. They're like <laughs> gold. Hang on to those baseballs. That one up high ball four. That walks Bryce and Heron. So Heron heads to first base. Yeah, when uh, Major League Baseball can afford to pay a player five hundred million dollars, <laughs> it's uh, yeah, baseballs. It's uh, yeah, it's kind of a well, the lowest paid baseball player probably makes almost a million dollars now. Easy, yeah. I think the uh, pretty sure the minimum salary anymore is a million. This pitch is in there for a strike. Jaron Andrzejewski, left fielder at the plate for the scoops. One away. Scoopers have a runner on first. We are in the bottom half of the second inning. And a one nothing lead for Sturgis. They scored their run in the first. And that's a chopper. That's going to stay foul. It went foul, yep. Foul ball. Thought maybe that might bounce on the right side of that third base white chalk line, but it does not. So that's a foul ball. Count will be 0-2 here for Andrzejewski. They got the flag out in center field today. They usually put it up on the pole in left field, but they put it up in center field today at the 400-foot mark. It's 400 feet to the fence here at Strong Field in center field, a little more shallower in right, 335 in right field. You know, it's a good, healthy amount of sponsors yeah. on the outs, uh, outfield fence. And that's good to see, yep. That's good, uh, good for the health of the program for sure. And that one outside. Here comes the attempt at steal, and that almost hit him. In fact, it may have bounced Heron off his back shoulder. And Bryson Heron successfully gets to second base on the steal. And I think that did hit him. He's kind of shaking it off a little bit. I think it hit him in the back. Kind of gimpy a little bit. So 2-2 two -two is the pitch count here for Andrzejewski. Oh, I think he struck out. He did, yep. Took that one right in there and did not swing, and that's the third strikeout for Lake and Utech. So both Utech, Christensen with three strikeouts on the night. And rounding out the batting order, Dalen DeShock for the Sturgis Scoops. So two away. Boy, that one way up high. That one got away from Utech. That'll be ball one. Good to see Dalen DeShock back up and moving after his knee injury yep. in basketball. Yep. Missed most of the season. Yeah, he really could have used him. Good to see him in the baseball uniform now. And he takes ball two. So the count should be 2-0. and oh. That one way outside. It'll be ball three, so 3-0 and oh the count. Heron returns to second. Scooper softball has gotten one game in. The rest of them have been postponed. They were supposed to play Central and Stevens last Ooh. night. And that's a strike there, so the count will go three and one. Yeah, it's just but they got a, postponed at Parkview, yeah. Been a rough a rough start to the season, yeah. but we, we see it pretty much every year. I think from this point on, it's looking like the weekend might get some 
chilly. A little bit of rain on Saturday and Sunday, yep. Look, we got some games Saturday, I think, or Friday night. That one is picked up. Long throw to first, and it's in time. Good, got good job by Rapid City Central, and that's out number three. So after two full innings in the books, Scoopers hanging on to a one nothing lead. You're listening to Sturgis Scooper Baseball on the Big 81. Right, audience, if you are looking for an effective method that reaches a large fan base at once, then here's your ticket with Live Ticket TV. With over 90 schools in the state of South Dakota, we can help you advertise locally with just your home team or reach the region and state. Plus, a portion of all sales go directly back to the school. Get a hold of Dylan Kessler today and let's get started in building your brand with Live Ticket TV. Whether you are pregnant or planning ahead, you and your baby deserve a healthy start. We offer a wide range of services such as advocacy, health screenings and education, care coordination and car seat safety, participant empowerment, referral services, and fatherhood support. To learn more about Great Plains Healthy Start, visit greatplainstravelhealth.org or call one of our five service areas today. Brought to you by Great Plains Healthy Start, so that the people may live. As your welcoming neighbor, the American in Madison, South Dakota offers genuine hospitality. You'll feel right at home with their friendly service, free Wi-Fi, hot homestyle breakfast every morning, and a heated indoor pool. Their number one priority is making guests feel right at home, offering comfortable accommodations and a caring staff that ensures every stay is memorable. Whether you're traveling for business, visiting friends or family, or just discovering a new destination around Madison, book a room with the American in Madison, South Dakota you both games. This is game number one. We head to the top of the third inning. Scoopers with a one nothing lead. You can also catch our audio and you can watch the video as well at Live Ticket TV. Well, it's Wednesday. That means it's Survivor Night, my friend. You and I are huge fans. And just to let you know, I'll be getting updates tonight. <laughs> Don't don't tell me. Friends. Don't I tell won't me. tell you because okay. I know you're probably recording it. We so are. I'll yep. keep it to myself. All right, that one in there is a strike. Good pitch. Yeah, I wouldn't call myself a super fan, but I'm a fan. <laughs> well, I haven't missed an episode yet this season. I'm kind of enthralled in it this season. It's pretty good so far. It's been good. Yeah. Oh, and one is the count. This one outside for strike two. At the plate, Tyler Henstein for Rapid City Central. Right fielder, number 14. And he rounds out the batting order for Rapid City Central. Ooh, he tips that one into the backstop. So he stays alive with the count 0-2. You know, Christensen has had a pretty good game so far. Yeah, very impressive last yeah, season. Yeah, he you was. Know, and uh, just coming into this season, looks like he's in really good form. Here comes the pitch. This one up high and inside. There's a ball. That'll be 1-2 and two the count for Heinstein. Stevens, by far, definitely looks to be the strength of West River Baseball. They are off to a fantastic season. This one blooped, and that's over the head of the second baseman, and that's going to be a base hit. Bobbled out there a little bit by Bryson Heron, but no harm, no foul. But it is a single leadoff for Tyler Heinstein. Second hit for the Cobblers. And we're back to the top of the batting order. Left-handed hitter, Lake and Utech. The pitcher will be at the plate for Rapid City Central. I think you told me against Peer the Scoopers struggled a bit offensively. They did offensively, yep. We did struggle offensively. Governors look good this year, too. Talking to John a little bit from the Peer hometown radio station, KCCR there. They're excited for the season. John was here? He was. They nice. came out to cover the Govs, yep. He covers everything out there. He does. They were in Rapid the night before and lost to Stevens, though. Mm. I said Stevens has got a pretty good squad, and we're going to see them Friday night down in Rapid City. Tune in. We'll have that one for you coming up Friday night at 7. Good old McKeague Field. Yep. Two balls, no strikes. Here's the pitch. Swing and a miss on that one. That's strike one. So the count goes 2-1. and one. Good contingent of Central fans here. That's good to see. Yeah. Supporting spring baseball, which I think will be sanctioned soon. This one low and outside for ball three. Three and one the count. 
Yeah, that just blows me away that uh, it's not. It will be here. I'm pretty yeah, sure has to Activities be. Association I mean, will pick it up here. Baseball, apple pie. I mean, that's <laughs> what America's built on, right? Come on. Indeed. <laughs> and he Ooh. pops that one back for a shallow foul ball. So full count coming here for UTEC. Top of the third inning, one nothing lead for the Scoops. See a little standing water in front of the scooper dugout. Yep, it seems like it takes a while for that water to fade away. All the snow is gone from the field, though. A lot different than what it looked like. Just a couple of Easter days ago, Sunday, yeah. Yep. And that's a walk. So Lake and Utec gets walked to first. And Brian Atkinson is to the plate next. Right-handed hitter for Rapid City Central. Utah getting some signals here from second, Brandon Jones. Yeah, second walk for Dylan Christensen. And that one just outside ball one. So the count goes 1-0. and oh. And a one nothing lead for the Scoopers here in the top of the third inning. That one outside two, ball two. So Sturgis didn't give up. Well, they lost 11-1 to one to Pierre, but didn't give up, you know, huge runs in those innings. That Ooh, is a foul, foul ball. ball. Good, yeah. good stroke, though, by Brian Atkinson. Scoopers gave up four in one inning and then five late. In fact, I think it was the top of the seventh they gave up the five. But, it, you know... They weren't like runaway innings by any means. So no. Scooper has hung in there with Pierre, but yeah, the problem is if you can't generate offense. That's right. Yeah, you yep. can play great defense, but you gotta score runs. That's kind of what happened last week on it, Friday. It, yeah. That one is sliced to left field. That one may go over the head of the left fielder out there at will. All the way to the Big hit, and, and this one ball. might bring in a couple of runs. And it will. One run scores. Nope. They'll hold the runner at third. But that stand-up double will tie this one up 1-1. Yeah, great stroke by Brian Atkinson sure to, to knock in a run. Yeah, that left fielder out there, that is Andrzejewski. Wasn't playing that one deep enough. Went over his head. And like you said, rolled all the way to the wall. So a 1-1 game now. Central wastes no time in tying it up here in the top of the third inning. And going around and getting a piece of that one as it's fouled back. Central runners think about going. Now they pull back. Looking out there in left field, there's some missing boards at the bottom of the fence I can see out there with my binoculars. Oh, that would be an automatic yeah. ground rule it double yeah, if it they, went under there. Yep. got to fix that. Yep. Missing the backstops out there. Yep. Good and pitch. That one's in there for a strike, so the count goes 0-2. Carter Utech at the plate. Left-handed hitter for Rapid City Central. O2 pitch coming from Christensen. Swings and misses on that one for the strikeout. That's the fourth K for Dylan Christensen. For the first out. And that will bring uh, number 10 to the plate, Tanner Staller, the right-handed hitter. Scoopers finally get that elusive first out here in the top of the third. Tie ball game, good pitch, falls out at the bottom, though, as it crosses home plate for ball one. The defense is going to have to step up here to limit the damage. Central with a runner in scoring position. Go around there for a strike. So Staller makes the count one and one. Pitch coming. That one in there for a strike. Good pitch. One and two the count. Next pitch coming. And that's a strikeout. They'll be out number two. Two quick strikeouts now by Christensen. He has five on the day. 
How about him? Yeah, you can uh, you can strike people out yeah. too. Yeah, yeah. you d just you don't even have to have your defense help you if you're <laughs> the way Dylan Christensen's <laughs> throwing right now. Good good uh, sequence of pitches on that last batter. Solano at the plate. It's got them Chicago Bowl Air Jordans on. Michael Jordan Air Jordans. You got good eyes. Red, black, and white. I see those. Yeah. Back, wow. back in the 80s, Jordan used to wear those back in the day. Big swing on that one. That'll even up the count. 1-1 one, one here. Runner still at second and third. Yeah, they look like the basketball type, but they have cleats on them. Yep, but they're baseball. Yep. Nice. Yeah, they're kind of popular. That style that was so popular back when he started. What's, what's hot old, right now. What's yeah. old is new again, That's right? right. Two strikes going around that time is Solano. The count is one and two. Solano with one of the three cobbler hits today. Swings on this one. That's over oh. the head of the second baseman, and that dribbles out into right field. That's going to bring home one run, and the central cobblers are going to try and bring in a second, and they do. Two RBI for Solano. And it's just a single. Yeah, Scooper should have at least had a defensive play there at home plate. They could not turn it. And it's a 3-1 lead for Rapid City Central. Now batting number 15, Gregory. Now left-handed hitter. Was it the shoes, Gary? It could have been the <laughs> shoe. It could have been the Air Jordans, yep. That's, that was the, uh, lo the uh, motto of that yeah. uh, commercial, right? Yeah, it's the right. shoes. It's that the was shoes. Spike yep. Lee. Yep, I believe so. Ooh, he thought about going around, but it don't matter. It's a strike. Good pitch there. And I believe this is Kenny Rose Ooh, at the plate, yep. number 15. Strike two. Didn't think he went around, but that must have been in the strike yep, zone. I think so. So Christensen will try and get out of the inning here without any more damage. Runner on first for the Cobblers. And we're going to have a balk, I believe. They're going to let... Yep. They're going to let him take a base. Solano takes a base. Well, he was pointing at the umpire to call it. And the umpire did, so... So Rose still looking at an 0-2 count here after the balk. Swing, and he fouls that one back into the fence. So he stays alive. So I tried the new taco pizza from Taco John's tonight. You know, I thought about and it. And it's not bad. I, I, I drove through Taco John's yeah. down in Shadron, and I thought about it, but I was driving, and I thought it might be too messy <laughs> for me and my car. It's actually not that messy. Okay. It's... um. It's for two people, though. Okay. Yep, nine ninety nine for one. But you ate it all yourself? It's, it's, no, I should actually, should, we shared it. I shared it. <laughs> nice. What a good With husband you are. Yes, I know it. <laughs> but it was good, yes. That one is, uh, I'm going to call that one down low. Two balls, two strikes. No, I grabbed a chicken burrito, and it was pretty good, too. This one is deep into center field, and that one's caught for out number three, and that'll retire Rapid City Central from the top of the third, but it's a 3-1 lead. And when we return, we'll head to the bottom half of the inning. Scoopers have some catching up to do. When you ask for Black Hills Surgical Hospital, you ask for someone who believes in hospitality. You ask for someone who treats everyone like a VIP and believes the absolute best shouldn't cost more and makes you feel comfortable even when you are vulnerable. You ask for someone who cares about the little things as much as the big things. You ask for someone who treats you like you are loved because you are. Black Hills Surgical Hospital. Ask for us by name. The Clubhouse of Spearfish, located on East Colorado Boulevard, has four high-quality golf simulators with a large selection of courses and leagues. They also offer virtual games such as shooting football and baseball and have shuffleboards and cornhole. The Clubhouse offers a full menu with live music on Sundays. You can host events such as birthday parties, wedding rehearsals, dinner, or holiday parties. 
The Clubhouse of Spearfish is a proud sponsor of Area High School Sports on Live Ticket TV. Whether you are pregnant or planning ahead, you and your baby deserve a healthy start. We offer a wide range of services such as advocacy, health screenings and education, care coordination and car seat safety, participant empowerment, referral services and fatherhood support. To learn more about Great Plains Healthy Start, visit greatplainstravelhealth.org or call one of our five service areas today. Brought to you by Great Plains Healthy Start, so that the people may live. Do you have a pest problem? Got bats, ants, termites? Family owned and operated, Olson's Pest Technicians have had over 50 years experience taking care of pest problems in places across South Dakota, Nebraska, and Iowa. Utilizing brilliant methods such as Centricon bait stations for termites and Vicane treatment for bed bugs, there's no pest too tough for Olson's Pest Technicians. If you have pest problems, call 800 Kill Bugs. When you ask for Black Hills Surgical Hospital, you ask for someone who believes in hospitality. You ask for someone who treats everyone like a VIP and believes the absolute best shouldn't cost more and makes you feel comfortable even when you are vulnerable. You ask for someone who cares about the little things as much as the big things. You ask for someone who treats you like you are loved because you are. Black Hills Surgical Hospital. Ask for us by name. Dumpster of Major League Baseball. <laughs> Why? That's hard for me to say because I'm a huge Rockies fan, but uh, it, oh, they're just uh, terrible this year. Why? I mean, come on. <laughs> oh, they gave away all their star players. There's a hopper picked up by the safe. shortstop and oh, safe at first, first is baseman. Bo Peters. Yeah, first baseman Brian Atkinson pulled his foot off the bag as the throw came in from shortstop Carter Utecht. Scoopers will take that leadoff hit here for Bo Peters. Second hit for the Scoops. And now Jake Peters steps to the plate. I know we're planning on going down for Mother's Day weekend to see a game with some friends. Oh, maybe they'll get better by then, huh? <laughs> if not, off to a terrible start. If not, the beer's cold and the, the peanuts <laughs> are good, right? And the company is good at, yeah. at uh, Coors Field, too. So oh, yeah. yeah. Which is really... So bring me home a couple of bags of Colorado Rockies peanuts, yeah, if you would, I will. please. All I right, will. you do that. I'm going to hold you to that. I will. Just remind me. If you don't, <laughs> I'm going to return the favor by giving you a whole bunch of box full of peanuts. Oh, okay. <laughs> this one is high, shallow infield. That'll get picked up. And that is out number one. I know you absolutely, <laughs> disgustingly <laughs> hate peeps. I think I made you that pretty. Them. I think I made that pretty clear yeah. over the last uh, few days. <laughs> I didn't eat as many of this Easter as I have in years oh, past. Man. I had the tropical punch flavored oh. ones, and they weren't bad. The thought of it makes me. I know they get, make you ill. Get watery mouth. Yep. George Hamer to the plate for the scoops, and takes a ball one. That one on the low outside corner. We'll see if Bo Peters is going to swipe a base here, maybe. He's got some speed. Thinking about it. Let's see if George Hamer can pound the ball again here. He's got a hit for the scoops. Swings on that one. That dribbles to the second baseman. Ooh, double and play. the shortstop double will cover ball. second. Oh, they pulled it. Yep. Nope. Hamer's safe. Not by much, though. So two away. Central almost had the double play. Yeah, it was a good throw by uh, sure was. by shortstop was Carter Utech, but yep. Hamer with enough speed to beat the throw. Hamer will come off because he's catcher, so they bring in the pinch runner here. And Carter Williams this time will be the pinch runner. Knutson was last time. And I do believe Xander Heller comes to the plate for the scoops, right-handed hitter. And he takes this one up high, ball one. Yeah, we'll miss some good good uh, basketball games on Friday night, too, with uh, yeah. the women's Final Four final underway. Four. Yep, Iowa takes on UConn. 
We'll have to uh, record those at home, I guess, and watch them later. One ball, no strike. This one down low, ball two. Two and oh goes the count. Carter Williams with a big lead off first base. Kenny Rose, our catcher for Rapid City Central. Behind home plate, two balls, no strikes coming. And the pitch, and that's a chopper. Ooh. Picked up by the shortstop, Ooh. and oh, he's going to throw that one to first. He should have went to second, and I think he's safe. I think so that was a mistake by the shortstop, unless he didn't have a play at second. I don't think he did. Carter Williams with a good jump towards second base, and that ball took a weird hop, kind of hopped to the left of the shortstop, and uh, he's got a pretty good cannon of an arm, but good speed by Heller to beat out that throw. So the scoopers stay alive here. Bottom of the third, down 3-1. to one. They have a couple on base here. Brady Royer to the plate. This one up high. If they call it a strike, 0-1 oh, the count. <clears throat> Scoopers with runners on first and third with two away. Ooh, Ooh. big swing and a go around there, yeah. Good pitch. 0-2 oh, the count. By Utecht. I was talking to Eric Fowler last night. He said he might be here tonight. Ah. He bought a season pass from one of his neighbors. And Ooh. that one fouled into the fence, so the count will stay 0-2. Late swing there by Royer. O2 pitch pending. For Royer. Royer oh. swing and a go around on that one for strike three. And Utecht has strikeout number four. So the Cobblers continue to lead 3-1. We head to the top of the fourth inning. You are listening to Sturgis Cooper Baseball on the Big 81. On the Big 81. Advertising can be a struggle. Where to spend your money? Are you reaching the right audience? If you are looking for an effective method that reaches a large fan base at once, then here's your ticket with Live Ticket TV. With over 90 schools in the state of South Dakota, we can help you advertise locally with just your home team or reach the region and state. Plus, a portion of all sales go directly back to the school. Get a hold of Dylan Kessler today and let's get started in building your brand with Live Ticket TV. Whether you are pregnant or planning ahead, you and your baby deserve a healthy start. We offer a wide range of services such as advocacy, health screenings and education, care coordination and car seat safety, participant empowerment, referral services and fatherhood support. To learn more about Great Plains Healthy Start, visit greatplainstravelhealth.org or call one of our five service areas today. Brought to you by Great Plains Healthy Start, so that the people may live. As your welcoming neighbor, the American in Madison, South Dakota offers genuine hospitality. You'll feel right at home with their friendly service, free Wi-Fi, hot homestyle breakfast every morning, and a heated indoor pool. Their number one priority is making guests feel right at home, offering comfortable accommodations and a caring staff that ensures every stay is memorable. Whether you're traveling for business, visiting friends or family, or just discovering a new destination around Madison, book a room with the American in Madison, South Dakota. The Rapid City Central Cobblers. Scoopers left a couple on base that last inning with uh, two outs. The runners on first and second, but just could not get anybody across the dish. So Central will start the top of the fourth inning. And this is Carter Gregory, seventh in the batting work with a leadoff batter for Rapid City Central. That one in there for a strike, good pitch. Back on the mound, Dylan Christensen for the scoopers. He's got five Ks on the night. Ooh. Mm -hmm. That one fouled off, I believe. Nope. It was off the catcher, so one and one. It's watching some of the NIT basketball final four last night, semifinals. 
Indiana State and Utah. That was a good game. That one fouled back right over our heads here in the press box. They put new siding on this press box earlier this spring. It was beat up pretty bad by foul balls over the years. It was, yeah. It broke it, a lot of the boards, yeah. Hail storms and, and hail storms, everything yeah. else. Yeah, it looks nice. They did some cleanup work here at Strong Field, too, and that one in there for a strike and striking out his sixth batter, Dylan Christensen. All my favorite black pens are starting to run out of ink after a couple of years of football and basketball. <laughs> the only guy I know that has lucky pens. Well, I keep these pens in the <laughs> laptop, and they keep going until they, they dry do, out. Right? That's oh. going to be a base hit out into left field, left center field. Nate Malix. For Nate Malix, yep. Base hit into left center field for Malix. So with one away, Central wastes no time in getting a runner on base. Tyler Heinstein now will bat for the Cobblers. Fifth hit for Central. Three-one lead for the Cobblers. Strike. Heinstein takes the strike for the 0-1 count. And you had a pretty busy beginning of the week, I saw, with uh, City Council. We did, yes. City Council all of a sudden is busy here. <laughs> we went how many years with dry blah council meetings, now for lack a of a better description, little, and now it's um, dramatic now, huh? Things, are, things have definitely taken a turn here in Sturgis. Municipal Election Day is Tuesday, don't forget. Make your voice there heard. There goes Malix. Malix going to try and seal. Ooh. I think they got him. Nope, missed. didn't get the tag in time. Yep. Malix is safe at second. Second stolen base for the Cobblers. Yeah, this is an important municipal vote elect election this year for Sturgis, for sure. With city council and two issues on the ballot, so yeah, make sure you get out and vote, Sturgis residents. Henstein struck out, so uh, Lake and Utec at the plate now. Oh, base oh, hit. that one is a base hit right down the third baseline. It scoots past the first baseman, Dalen Deshock. Oh, throw bring to the, the plate. runner home. No, Ooh. plenty of time. Sliding home for run number four, Zutek. And a 4-1 lead for Rapid City Central with two away. Yeah, that, uh, that single dribbled just alongside the baseline. Yeah, and Lake and Utec, uh, left-handed hitter, so right down that first baseline. Yep. Just one of those, one of those balls that, it's hard to field that yeah, one. Dalen DeShock really didn't have a yeah, play. It was a not. it was a rocket. Yep. That one just inside for ball one. Central now with a four nothing four to one four lead, to one I should lead. say. Yep. Yeah, Sturt just scored that run in the bottom of the first. Have been quiet since then. This one up high and inside for ball two. And again, I'm battling my 14,000th cold <laughs> of the winter-spring season, I swear. It's been never-ending. Two balls, no strikes. This one is blooped high into center field. And Scoopers fielded cleanly. So the Scoopers get out of the top of the fourth with no more damage. One run scores for Rapid City Central. And when we head to the bottom of the fourth, Cobbler is holding on to a 4-1 lead. This is Scooper Baseball on the Big 81. Baseball on the Big 81. Every day, our... When you ask for Black Hills Surgical Hospital, you ask for someone who believes in hospitality. You ask for someone who treats everyone like a VIP and believes the absolute best shouldn't cost more and makes you feel comfortable even when you are vulnerable. You ask for someone who cares about the little things as much as the big things. You ask for someone who treats you like you are loved because you are. Black Hills Surgical Hospital. Ask for us by name. The Clubhouse of Spearfish, located on East Colorado Boulevard, has four high-quality golf simulators with a large selection of courses and leagues. They also offer virtual games such as shooting football and baseball and have shuffleboards and cornhole. The Clubhouse offers a full menu with live music on Sundays. You can host events such as birthday parties, wedding rehearsals, dinner, or holiday parties. The Clubhouse of Spearfish is a proud sponsor of area high school sports on Live Ticket TV. 
Traffic 81, KPHP. All right, we welcome you back into Strong Field on a Wednesday night edition of Sturgis Cooper Sports. It's Cooper baseball season on the Big 81. Gary Matthews, Terry Anderson with you here tonight. We are minus the popcorn and peanuts right at the moment, but we I don't are. know for how long. Yeah, you know, when Greg Harrington <laughs> shows up, I, I predict we will get a hot dog. Uh, well, that's assuming he does. Yeah, he, he's he could get busy tonight. He's a busy guy. He is. He had something going on tonight. He was because supposed to help me last week when yep. you were gone, and he was busy. But he was busy doing something good. Yeah, he was out, uh, I think he was visiting with veterans I at the VA. I believe he was visiting with veterans, which I would much rather be doing <laughs> than going <laughs> baseball because they've got some interesting stories that will they sure do. keep you interested for quite a while. All right, underway here, bottom of the fourth. Scooper's trying to catch up here. Strike one is the call. This one high and outside for ball one. At the plate for the scoops is number 21, Barrett Patterson. My security camera just gave me a notice. Ooh. My UPS guess is guy? it's the shadows, or yeah, oh, ooh. or a deer, or a dog, or a cat, or a squirrel, or that pitch really high. Or it was two balls, one strike for Patterson's head. Patterson Indeed. had to duck not to get uh, beaned in the helmet. I don't have a security camera yet on my house, but uh, kind of lean in that way. Yep, yep, they're good to have. Big swing and a miss there. That'll even the count two and two here. I'll tell you why I, I feel so secure. I've got Jody Vandewater a block away. Well, that helps <laughs> when you got the Sturgis chief of police not too far away from yeah, you. It, yes. it kind of deters crime in my neighborhood, yes. I, I think. And I have two dogs that make a lot of noise. Well, that's true. They wouldn't bite a flea. <laughs> <laughs> Up high, full count, three and two coming. Well, I have just a house down, the director of Sturgis Public Works. So nice. I don't know if that makes me feel any more secure. But <laughs> Rick could shut their water off if they, if they <laughs> do so. There you go. <laughs> yeah, Rick could probably do that. Quit this quit. one outside, ball four. Could quit picking up their trash. That's going to walk. <laughs> Barrett walk. Patterson. He was uh, putting his snowmobile away earlier today. I think he just got back from a trip nice, not too long ago over to Togety in Wyoming. Nice. Taking advantage of the snow there before oh, it man. starts to melt. Yeah, I know Jared Gable. I spoke with him last week, and he took his grandson out to Steamboat, Colorado. Oh, I love wow. Steamboat. They have a lot of snow there. Yep. Hundred and some inches. There's still a lot down there in my old stomping grounds of Saratoga, too. The snowy range has a ton of snow. So. Oh, yeah. Well, looks like Lake and Utech's going to be might done. might be retiring in him, and we're going to have a pitching change. Be our first one of the afternoon as Central's going to bring in a new re pitcher to relieve Utech. We'll get the number for you as he warms up. This pitching change being brought to you by Quick Mart Sturgis Subs. Sturgis Subs. Quick Mart in Sturgis is the proud sponsor of the KBHB Sports Scooper Athlete of the Week. So when you're on your way to the game, don't forget to stop in and grab a hot coffee or fountain pop and get one free after your 10th purchase. Quick Mart is locally owned and operated in your one-stop shop for gas, diesel, snacks, and ice. Plus, check out their full selection of scooper gear for the whole family, including kid sizes. Quick Mart at the corner of Junction Avenue and Ballpark Road in Sturgis. Wishing the scoopers good luck this season. All right, this Quick Mart Sturgis subs pitching change. Changing up the Sam Mitch here for Rapid City Central. The first name changes, the last name stays the same, my friend. <laughs> Carter Utech, number four, in for, I'm assuming his brother. I'm assuming so. Lakin. Yeah. We've, we've been wrong on those assumptions. We've assumed that before. before but Lakin yeah. Utech leaves after 50 pitches, four strikeouts, two walks. He gave up three hits and one run to the scoops. Pretty good uh, outing, but uh, head coach for Rapid City Central, I guess, uh, feeling that uh, he needed a change. Yep. Yeah. Carter looks like he can throw the ball pretty well. There are no outs here in the bottom of the fourth inning, and maybe that's why the change. Scoopers do have a runner on first base here. Uh, scoops need to generate some offense here, get For back sure. in this game. Yep. Bryson Heron is at the plate. Heron's taken some practice swings out there. For him, this seems like it's been forever before he's had a chance to get up there. All right, now they're going to let him come up. 
Scooper Track is in full swing, by the way, and just as we thought, Aiden Hederman is undefeated in the hurdles so far, and I imagine he'll probably he might stay that way. He yeah. may not lose a hurdle event all year. Yeah, don't don't say that. Don't jinx yeah. it. But <laughs> you know, he came out of nowhere as a sophomore to win yeah. the state title. He won by like a hundredth of a second oh, as a, a junior. Yeah. So he wants to break it this year. He yeah, said. he's the favorite yep. for sure, but. Sometimes and he wants to break it at the state track meet, and he might do it. Sometimes it's good yeah. to be the dark horse, but he there's no hiding for Aiden yeah. Hederman right now. He's for sure the, for sure the favorite. I saw him doing the the uh, pole vault too. Yep, and he won at the pole vault just last past week. Yep. All right, underway. Zero and one is the count for Heron. Swings on this one. A little dribbler to the shortstop. They'll turn the out at second. Will not turn the double though. So Bryson Heron gets to first. Patterson thrown out at second. And that will send Jaron Andrzejewski to the plate for the scoops. Jaron struck out back in the bottom of the second inning looking for his first hit this evening. 4-1 lead for the Cobblers here. This is game one. We do have a game two scheduled. And I haven't heard that they were going to change that. No, I think if with a night like this, you can't waste yeah. it, right? You, That's right. <laughs> you need to get some games in. Big There's... swing. Picked up by the pitcher. Ooh. Oh, and he almost overthrew his first baseman, but his first baseman does a great job in getting that one down. But he is safe. and Oh, he's at it first. That's out number two. So two away. Bryson Heron moves over to second base. And Dalen Deshock will step to the plate. Heron was on his horse as that pitch was coming <laughs> in. He was going to make it to second anyway. Yeah. Yeah. But Andrew Jeske just about safe at first with that uh, bad throw by UTEC. But first baseman, good job for Central to get his foot on the bat. And this one just a little high for ball one. I like how you say he was on his horse. It's like, well, what did the horse do? <laughs> One ball, no strike here for Dale in the shot at the plate. He loves to spend his summer evenings out the back shooting baskets. That one is Blue Foul. How do I know that? Because Dale in the shot lives behind He's a neighbor. Yep. Yeah, he had an outstanding season on the football field as well. He did. Uh, yeah, looking for big things from him next year in football, basketball, and baseball. I imagine he'll be out late in the summer, this coming summer, too, shooting baskets. A three-sport athlete. Good to see that uh, in today's age of specialization in sports. Well, I told his dad. I'll finish that thought here in just a moment. Oh, that gets Pass past ball. the catcher. Yep, Rose is going to let that one go between the wickets. And that will send Heron on to third base. Yeah, finally, a runner in scoring position for the scoops. They well, said I told his dad, his dad Ethan, said, I'll, I'll come over some night this summer and we'll have some beverages and shoot our own baskets in your <laughs> backyard in the basketball. Yeah, Ethan, that a, would be a great idea. He was a stud back in he the was. day. He was. Probably, he would probably beat me, but I was kind of a stud in basketball, too. No, I just hey. <laughs> No ego here. Play him in a game of pig and, yeah, and see who Yeah, we could do that. We could do that. Count three and one. Three balls, one strike for Deshaun. Try to get Heron home. Scooper's down four to one here. Here's the pitch, way outside, walked in. The shot gets on base. And that's good for the scoops. Back to the top of the order now with Bo Peters. Runners on the corner, in the intersection at second base. You might see Dale and Deshock attempt to steal at second. That's possible. Head coach Harris Rodriguez giving Dale a signal yeah. over to first base. This this would this situation where you had first and third would drive, ex coach Wade Huntington crazy. Yeah. He hated that empty second base. This one out into right field foul ball. So the shock will come back. Uh, this too, it's a good time when you can test the defense. It is. And yep. It's at that time of the game, I think, where you need to try to make something happen offensively. So the foul ball by Bo Peters will make the count 0 and 1. Two out rally possibly for the Scoops. Empty bullpen right at the moment for Central. Nobody warming up out there. They, there goes Deshaun. And Deshaun is going to steal. No trouble. Central will not even try to turn it. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of times you'll see a catcher maybe 
fake the throw. Try to get the runner off to the base. But catch your Kane Gregory. Didn't even, didn't even fake the throw. So even count, 1-1. One, one. Takes this one up high, ball two. And the Super Bowl pin is empty too. Right? Wouldn't be a bad time for Peters to be a little patient on this pitch. See if he can get a, get a full count. No big swing on this one, and that one's going to go out in the left field. Here comes Deshock. He's coming home. He's going to run two in. Deshock make the throw. He does. In fact, that ball gets past Rose. And they're going to hold the runner at second base. So the scooper scored two off that one and cut the lead to 4 3. Glad Bo Peters didn't listen to me about being That's patient. That's right, because he knocked <laughs> that one out there. A two RBI double for Bo Peters. Yeah, what do I know? Was just down by one now, and now Utech is going to talk with the central coach here. Bo Peters saw a pitch he liked, and he, he drove he that out that. into left field. He did. First hit given up by Utech. Carter, the Carter type. Bottom of the fourth inning here. Scoopers cut the 4-1 lead to one. It's 4-3. Two RBI double. Two-out rally for the Scoops. <laughs> kind of like the Jeopardy theme when the coach goes out to but they're planning some strategy <laughs> out there when you play the King Panther theme. So good friend Scott Sabres here at the ballpark tonight. Not sure where he's going, but he maybe has some strategy on his phone too. Ooh, good pitch right in there for a strike. Jake Peters at the plate. Swing, and that one's high up in the air. Shallow infield, that'll be caught for out number three. But the scoopers are right back in this. Down by a run, four innings in the books. We head to the top of the fifth in 16. Whether you are pregnant or planning ahead, you and your baby deserve a healthy start. We offer a wide range of services such as advocacy, health screenings and education, hair coordination and car seat safety, participant empowerment, referral services and fatherhood support. To learn more about Great Plains Healthy Start, visit greatplainstravelhealth.org or call one of our five service areas today. Brought to you by Great Plains Healthy Start, so that the people may live. Do you have a pest problem? Got bats, ants, termites? Family owned and operated, Olson's Pest Technicians have had over 50 years experience taking care of pest problems in places across South Dakota, Nebraska, and Iowa. Utilizing brilliant methods such as Centricon bait stations for termites and Vicane treatment for bed bugs, there's no pest too tough for Olson's Pest Technicians. If you have pest problems, call 800 Kill Bugs. Just had a friend send me a, uh, a, a clip of of Will Ferrell doing his Harry Carey imitation. So he, <laughs> he must be listening right now. This is Harry Carey with Steve Stone. <laughs> you do a pretty good imitation. Brought to you by Budweiser. <laughs> God. Oh, the memories of watching uh, him back on WGN in yeah, Chicago back in the yeah, day. He's, <laughs> he was... Uh, <laughs> Quite the call man, that's for sure. Yeah, just a local hero, really he a was. national hero yeah. because of WGN exactly. being exactly. It was uh, on many cable systems oh, yeah. back in the day. That's that's why just like the superstation WTBS. That's why there's so many Cubs yeah. fans, you know, from and Braves fans oh, because yeah. of. Uh, the, the Atlanta station W WTBS TBS yes yes. WTBS, home of the Atlanta Braves back in the day, and Night Tracks. That's right. America's favorite music video show. Dylan Christensen back on the mound. 
for the Scoops. First pitch. And he is headed into his fifth inning of work. Greg Harrington. Thank you, sir. Has just arrived. As predicted. Well, he heard us, so <laughs> there are people tuned in out there here on this <laughs> Wednesday evening. That's Thank you, good sir. To hear. Thank you, sir. The ballpark dinner of a left-handed batter at the Ooh, plate. This looks is Carter good. Utech. Nice big hot for dog. Rapid City Central. Oh, big swing and a go around there for strike two. So Christensen has not really lost anything here. He's into his fifth inning of work. No, feeling good. Five. And he's doing well. Giving up yeah. five hits. He struck out seven. Walked two. Ooh. Oh, that one hit him, though. Yep, that's going to send him on to first base. I was about to say he has not <laughs> hit a batter yet, but I'm glad I didn't say it. Well, you were thinking it, though. <laughs> and uh, even th yeah, we won't blame you for that Even one. thinking it, I jinxed him. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> so that will send Kenny Rowe. I don't know. That's, that's not. That's somebody else, I think, at the play here. Tanner Staller, Yeah, there you possibly. go. I think it's Staller. Number yeah, 10? Number 10. Oh, big hit Oh, by that Staller. one got through the wickets at the third baseman, and that's going to be a base hit. Uh-oh, and Central just about overran Ooh. second base there, yep. Utech, yeah. That was close. Utech rounded second. That was really close. Just about got thrown out. <laughs> yep. Staller with the single moving Utech to second base. couple runners on early here for Central. Yep, he got back in time, so no harm, no foul for him. So Central, yeah, off to a great start here in the top of the fifth, leading 4-3. to three. Already got a couple of batters on base. Swing and a miss there for strike one. Wow, that's a good-looking hot dog. Thank you, Greg. Appreciate it. <laughs> oh, one pitch coming. Down the line for Christensen and down low and inside. I promise not to eat until we're at break, <laughs> even though I want to take a big bite right now. I'll, I'll wait. It is. Uh, it can be so tempting. I'm I know how you. annoying it is as a listener to hear, <laughs> hear us chowing down. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I'm sure they've heard it before, so, you know, it's, it's one of those things where they're used to it, I'm yeah. sure. This is Terry Carey. <laughs> this game brought to you by, one ball, uh, by two hot strong. dogs. <laughs> By Hebrew National. <laughs> is that a hot dog brand? I think it well, is. Well, uh, yeah, yeah. But it's <laughs> Nathan's that are served at the ballpark. Oh, they I got think. Nathan's here. Yeah. Okay. Hey, those. that's why they're so good. I think. I could be wrong. About the time I say that, they'll come up and tell me, no, nah, they're just Hormel. Hey, they sound good. Yeah. I mean, they smell good. <laughs> they two, sound good. <laughs> counts two and two. Two balls, two strikes. Nobody out here yet in the top of the fifth inning. That one's going to get fouled off and right over the light stand there. Solano with the plate. He's got a couple of hits yeah. for Central. He's been on base both times and made it as far as second base. Golden opportunity here for Central. They got two runners on. And we saw Dylan Christensen in this situation a couple innings yeah. ago. He got out of it. That one down low for ball three. So now full count coming for Solano. Runners on first and second. 3-2 pitch coming, and that one's out for ball four. So now the bases are juiced, nobody out, and Coach Rodriguez is going to call timeout. And it looks like we're going to have a pitching change. Looks like that might be Yaden Miller coming out to take over, huh? Number nine? Could be. Well, Christensen did pretty well. He had Six strikeouts on the day. That'll do it for Christensen. He will give the ball up here, and I do believe it's going to be Miller who's going to take over. Yeah, it looks like Aiden Miller stepping up yep. there to the rubber. And he is going to inherit a no-out top of the fifth <coughs> inning here. Yeah, a little tough to come in. Yep. But, uh, you know, we've seen Yaden the last couple of years here at the ballpark, and Athletic kid with, mm -hmm. uh, you know, it's his senior year this year, yeah. so he's played some good baseball for the Scoops. Dylan Christensen leaves after 71 pitches. Seven strikeouts, walked three, hit one by pitch, which was at the beginning of this inning. Yep, that put one of the guys on base, yep. Gave up six hits. 
So Central is talking some strategy out there. They got their first and second base runners talking at first base. Third base runner talking to the coach. Brandon Jones is keeping the umpire busy. <laughs> and uh, Brandon Jones is a storyteller. He looks good in uniform, too. He does look good. I was just going to say, he looks good in uniform. We usually see him on stage with the... That's correct. And you probably hear his voice if you listen to any of our Rapid City stations. His concert t-shirt on usually at a... Yeah. Actually, a few years ago, I, I won a Brandon Jones shirt. You did? At, gosh, I think it was at a Christmas party at the Loud. I was wearing a uh, my Christmas suit. Remember that Christmas suit I wear sometimes? Oh, was it the ugly Christmas oh, suit? That okay. The most horrendous Christmas suit you could ever see. Okay, and continue. I wore it at the Loud, and they brought me on stage, and there was like an <laughs> ugly Christmas suit contest. And I, my dance moves, I think, put me over the <laughs> edge, and I, I, got to, I got to pick out a Brandon Jones shirt. Oh, my, I would have paid to see that. <laughs> Really? You went up on stage did. and did a little dance move? Yeah, there was a bunch of us up there, so it wasn't just me. Uh, <laughs> but I, you know, the, the suit, I really kind of stood out among all the contestants. Oh, I'm sure you did. You stood out at the basketball games and you <laughs> showed up with it, for sure. There's a go around and strike one. Kenny Rose at the plate for Rapid City Central. 0-1 hey. here. Miller goes to work. Base is juiced. And that one down low, yeah. This is a huge opportunity for... Rapid City Central here with nobody out, top of the fifth, and they got the bases loaded. Scoops just down 4-3 after a good. Two. That one outside, ball three. Now full count. So Scooper is in danger of walking in a run here for Rapid City Central. Three-two pitch coming. Swings, fouls this one up high. This might be playable in foul territory for the Scoops. It is, and Ooh. they howl it in. <laughs> Right in front of that third base runner, and he got back just in time. Yeah, Carter Utec at third. Uh, don't know what he thought there. He was way <laughs> off third base, and <laughs> he was third baseman Brody Royer made the catch yep. and ooh, almost put the tag on Utec. One away. Then that's a big out for the scoops too. This one up high, ball one. Yeah, right now it's a, it could be a double play yep. at any base with the bases loaded. So the pop fly out, sends Carter Gregory to the plate. Number 18. Uh-oh, that one's past the pitcher. Picked up by the second baseman. They'll turn it at first, but a run scores. And it's 5-3. to three. That could have been a lot worse. Pitcher Yaden Miller may have slowed that one down just enough for the second baseman to pick that up and complete that throw to first base for out number two. Carter Utech crosses home plate for the fifth run for Central. Nate Maylox will be at the plate. This one outside, ball one. Five to three lead for the Cobblers. One ball, no strike. Runners on second and third. Here's the pitch. Good pitch. And in there for a strike. That'll even it up 1-1. One, one. Really good movement on that pitch by yeah. Yaden Miller. Yeah, right now the uh, shadow is coming in. We see it uh, this time of <laughs> the Kind of hard to see home plate. Yep. A little tough yep. for the infielders and sometimes tough for the outfielders. That sun setting right behind us. And it's not quite at that summer angle yet where the shadows aren't nearly that bad in the summertime. When we're calling Legion ball, here's this one. Ooh. And down low for ball two. Two and one the count. Good job of catcher George Hamer to not let that one get past him. Yep. So we will be the official Titans radio station this summer, of course. And that one up high. Post-22 will have 
Kim Radio is their official station this summer, I do believe. Yeah, I saw Kevin Phillips will be the ballpark and announcer. And Kevin Phillips will be ballpark announcer at, from Home Slice. He'll so be he he's ballpark pretty, announcer at post-22 games this pretty summer. Pretty excited about yeah. that, he said. Yeah. I mean, boys, what a pro. They're lucky to have him. Absolutely. Good pitch. He always says he's going to retire, <laughs> and then something pick comes something comes up, and he takes it. Well, yeah, you know, it's it's yeah. going to be it's the in same his blood. It's going to be the know? same story for me. Well, and you it, it will be. Yes, yeah. We'll and be like Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy sitting here in our wheelchairs in about fifteen oh, years. Oh, oh, trouble! Still calling Scooper Sports, and they got a boy. What a runner and move. a pickle. Yep. Bill Yaden Miller will tag him out at home, and yep, that squanders what could have been another run for Rapid City Central. Yeah, Tanner Staller yep. at third was halfway home when that when uh, the walk came to Nate Malix and just a bonehead play by by Staller, and he gets tagged out. Central though adds a run here in the top of the fifth inning. It's five to three, and we'll be back after the 60-second timeout on the Big 81. Timeout on the Big 81. When you ask for Black Hills Surgical Hospital. You ask for someone who believes in hospitality. You ask for someone who treats everyone like a VIP and believes the absolute best shouldn't cost more and makes you feel comfortable even when you are vulnerable. You ask for someone who cares about the little things as much as the big things. You ask for someone who treats you like you are loved because you are. Black Hills Surgical Hospital. Ask for us by name. Advertising can be a struggle. Where to spend your money? Are you reaching the right audience? If you are looking for an effective method that reaches a large fan base at once, then here's your ticket with Live Ticket TV. With over 90 schools in the state of South Dakota, we can help you advertise locally with just your home team or reach the region and state. Plus, a portion of all sales go directly back to the school. Get a hold of Dylan Kessler today and let's get started in building your brand with Live Ticket TV. Whether you are pregnant or planning ahead, you and your baby deserve a healthy start. We offer a wide range of services such as advocacy, health screenings and education, care coordination and car seat safety, participant empowerment, referral services and fatherhood support. To learn more about Great Plains Healthy Start, visit greatplainstravelhealth.org or call one of our five service areas today. Brought to you by Great Plains Healthy Start, so that the people may live into that lead here in the bottom of the fifth inning. Got one hit, one run, two left on base for the Cobblers in that top of the fifth as Tanner Stoller gets tagged out between third and home. George Hamer leadoff batter for the Scoops. And he'll take strike one. And I believe Utecht is back on the mound. Yep, Carter Utecht back on the mound for Rapid City. George Hamer got him two for two at the plate tonight. That one's a chopper, picked up by the second baseman. Throw to first is there for out number one. So the 4-1 play will send to the plate number 12 for the Sturgis Scoopers. That is Xander Heller, fourth in the batting order. Number 12, he's right-handed hitter for the Scoops. Xander, 1-4-2 two tonight. He's got a single. So the Scoopers will have a tough one coming up on Friday. They'll go to Stevens. Stevens off to a great start to this 2024 high school baseball season. Always fun to go to McKeague Field it in is. Rapid City. Yep. Been there a lot, it seems like. You know, there in uh, Pete Lane Field. Mm -hmm. Heller is going around on this one, and he's behind in the count 0-2. Ooh. That one bounces off the catcher for ball one. Count will go one and two. On deck for the scoops, Brady Royer, number 23. Ooh, that one right over the head of Heller. That's not chin music. <laughs> that is not. One of those dangerous pitches there. 2-2 two, two the count. Cranium music. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, that one inside again. It jammed up Heller. Be able to swing on it, and he fouls it off. So, foul that one off to Brandon Jones. He'll pick that one up. 
New ball comes out from the home plate umpire. Jones gets a souvenir. You know, he should sign that <laughs> and throw that out at one of his upcoming concerts. Yeah, really. And strikeout. And that'll be out number two. First strikeout for Carter Utecht. Royer. Royer will be up with two away here, bottom of the fifth inning. Brody looking for his first hit. And takes that one in there for a strike. If the scoopers can stay alive here, it'll bring up uh, Barrett Patterson, number 21. Ooh. Ooh, that one over the head again. Royer will take a ball. That'll get your attention it as sure a will. It sure will. That Royer, really close to the plate. He's crowding that plate. He swings on this one, fouls that one off. Which is okay. Yep. I mean, sometimes that throws off the pitcher because they're trying to find that strike zone. And if you're, uh, you're crowding that plate, eh, sometimes they'll throw it near you to get you back <laughs> off that plate. <laughs> this one up high. And with all the years we've been doing this, we've only seen once or twice where the tempers have gotten a little yep. out of control. Yep. And and I think they've both been in Legion games, if I'm I think so. not mistaken. There's another strikeout, oh. and that'll end the fifth inning. So we head to the top of the sixth, and a 5-3 lead for Rapid City Central. This is Scooper Baseball on the Big 81. Big 81. Are your tires wearing down quicker than they should? Give the pros at Richter's Tire. As your welcoming neighbor, the American in Madison, South Dakota offers genuine hospitality. You'll feel right at home with their friendly service, free Wi-Fi, hot homestyle breakfast every morning, and a heated indoor pool. Their number one priority is making guests feel right at home, offering comfortable accommodations and a caring staff that ensures every stay is memorable. Whether you're traveling for business, visiting friends or family, or just discovering a new destination around Madison, book a room with the American in Madison, South Dakota. When you ask for Black Hills Surgical Hospital, you ask for someone who believes in hospitality. You ask for someone who treats everyone like a VIP and believes the absolute best shouldn't cost more and makes you feel comfortable even when you are vulnerable. You ask for someone who cares about the little things as much as the big things. You ask for someone who treats you like you are loved because you are. Black Hills Surgical Hospital. Ask for us by name. The Clubhouse of Spearfish, located on East Hall. Yeah, welcome back into Strong Field on this Wednesday night edition of Sturgis Scooper Baseball. Top of the sixth inning we go. Central holding on to a 5-3 lead here. And they are back up at the plate. Tyler Henstein, right fielder for the Cobblers. His third time at bat here. Yaden Miller on the mound for the Scoopers. No batting. Tyler Henstein. Henstein, one for two tonight. He scored a run for the Cobblers. So recapster just scored first here in this one. Led one nothing at the end of the first. Ball one. Neither team scored in the second inning. Central puts three across, top of the third. They lead three to one. Four to one after scoring a run, top of the fourth. Scoopers add a couple in the bottom of the fourth inning. And it was four to two, four to three. Central adds one in the top of the fifth inning, and they lead five to three. Three balls, one strike to Henstein. Miller kind of getting behind in the count here. And Stein swings on that one. Should get picked up by the shortstop. No, he bobbles and drops it. He's not going to turn this one. And that might go down as an error out there for the shortstop. Well, they don't actually put him on the board here, but in yeah. the book, that'll probably be an error. Yeah, Bo Peters, shortstop for the Scoopers. Yeah. Now batting number one, Bacon, Utah. 
So Lake and UTech will come to the plate now. Central with a leadoff hit from Henstein. Ooh, Lake and swung on that one. And right into Haber's mitt. Count on one. Henstein with an RBI single back in the top of the fourth inning. Good pitch. Mm, that one up high, yep. Yeah, they call it a strike. Yeah, now uh, with a no ball, two strike count for Miller, he can kind of explore that strike zone yeah. a little bit. Yeah. See if he does. Ooh. We did. <laughs> <laughs> he was way outside yeah. of it, though. He was in Timbuktu <laughs> on that one, exploring. Way up high and inside. <laughs> one ball, two strikes. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to give him a meatball yeah. when you're 0 and 2, 1 and 2 now to Lake and Utech. And he swings and fouls this one off. So the count will stay 1 and 2 for him. Henstein on first base for Rapid City Central. And there goes Henstein. This one is into center field, and he's going to be in trouble if that's caught. It's not. It takes a one hopper into the central fielder's mitt out there, and that's a base hit for Utech. Another hit for Lake and yeah. Utech. Moves Tyler Henstein over to second base. Boy, they sent Henstein going full speed. They were banking on that ball dropping out there in center field. Had he caught that, that would have been... A quick two outs, but not the case. So two on for Rapid City Central. And Brian Atkinson to the plate. Atkinson takes strike one. Count on one, top of the sixth inning. Here's the 0-1. Oh, he goes around. And that rolls off his bat and into the backstop. Some scooper heavyweight wrestlers in front of us here down at the uh, press I was just going to say, it looks like some scooper wrestlers down yeah. there. I think Dakari Osborne taking in some scooper baseball here tonight. That one gets past the catcher. We're going to see some stolen bases. Yep. Uh-oh, that one is thrown into the outfield. In comes a run on the throwing error from home plate. And the Cobblers take a 6-3 to three lead. And that was out the corner of my eye, Terry. Did, did that go past the third baseman, or did he it did. just mishandle it? Yeah, Brody Royer okay. hit the outside of his glove and trickled off into a shallow left field and gave Tyler Henstein a little free ride into home plate. This pitch high and inside. Lake and Utech stayed at second. And still nobody out. Full count coming. And he swings, fouls this one off, so the count will stay. Here's the pitch, this one. Boy, that's deep left field going back, 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 and that one is off the wall. Missed a home run by just a foot or so. And that's a double, and that brings home another run, and it's 7-3 to three, Rapid City Central. That's the second double for Brian Atkinson. Wow. He hit it in almost the exact same spot, top of the third inning, and brings home Lake and Utech for that run. That one almost cleared the wall back there. He was maybe just a foot or two short. Yeah, Atkinson, Atkinson uh, two for four at the plate with two RBIs and yep. a run scored. He's wow. having a good game for Rapid City yep. Central. Yep. One ball, no strike on the next count here. Carter, you checked at the plate. Atkinson with the double RBI. That one low outside, ball one. Ball two now, two and oh. Wind has died down considerably it here. It sure too. has. Yeah, we had a good breeze coming in yeah. when I got here. Swing and a miss for strike one. So two and one goes the count for UTech. Game two will have some lights on, I'm guessing. Yep. And, uh, we'll be turning the lights on. It'll get cooler here, too. Yep. 
<clears throat> be in the 40s for game two. Ooh, this one way outside. Now a 3-1 count. And a 7-3 lead here for Rapid City Central. They've scored two here in the top of the sixth. Here's the 3-1. Eee, that one not there for a strike, yep. Well, Utec thought it was a ball. He was getting ready to head to first base. He'll have to stay put, face the full count strike, or the full count pitch coming here. Scoopers are hoping for a strikeout. They have yet to get that first out here in the top of the sixth inning. And there's ball four, and that sends Utec on to first base. Second walk for Yaden Miller. Yep. Tanner Staller to the plate. And a conversation here between Hamer and Yaden Miller. It's a quick one. What do you think he said? Get back there, catcher. Throw strikes. <laughs> <laughs> but not, not. Oh, you're asking me what the catcher <laughs> said. Okay. <laughs> but but not too good of a strike. <laughs> Hit the corner of the strike zone. <laughs> we got to mic them up so we yeah. can hear the conversation. <laughs> there you go. Or maybe we can we, afford one of them itty bitty little mics. Sure. Maybe maybe we don't want to hear that. <laughs> <laughs> well, we can set our wireless mic out there, I guess, and see what we pick up, huh? Yeah, that's the dangerous thing. That I, is the dangerous thing. Reminds yes. me of the of yep. the final four a couple of years. Not the final four. It was uh, the NCAA, NCAA tournament a couple tournament, of years ago. Yeah. Ooh. When uh, when uh, Eric Musselman, remember Eric Musselman? I do remember Eric Musselman. He used to be the Thrillers head coach he in Rapid City. head coach, yeah. He was at Nevada, and he came in after a big upset win, and they had a live mic in the locker room, and I, I think they regretted that uh, live I mic because he, he dropped a few expletives <laughs> live on TV. I imagine he did. <laughs> he was excited. <laughs> Two balls, no strikes. Scoopers need an out here. They do not have an out here in this top of the sixth inning. This game could get away from them in a hurry here. Good pitch. That one good in there. Strike one. Two and one the count. Runners on first and second for Central. Yeah, it's been kind of a long inning for, has. for Yaden yeah. Miller. 25 pitches in this inning so far yeah. for Miller. Ooh. Mm, that one's a pass ball. Runners advance. So now second and third loaded up for Rapid City Central. And no outs. And no outs, yep. And the count three and one for Stoller. Stoller at the plate still. And he swings on that one for strike two. So now a full count. Good outside pitch there by Yaden Miller. Staller with the single last inning. Swing, and he strikes out, and that's Scoopers needed that one huge. Strikeout number one for Yaden Miller. Yep. And one out now here in the top of the sixth. Now batting number 11, Steven Solano. And Steven Solano to the plate now. Those Air Jordans on. Well, they, they helped him last time. They he, did, uh, didn't they? Just like Spike Lee said, it's the <laughs> it's shoes. The shoes. <laughs> and he swings on this one and fouls it back. That one had quite a ricochet on it, didn't what, it? What was that character's name he played in those? Mars Blackman. Mars Blackman. Mars Blackman. Thank you, Greg. That's right. Yeah, a lot of people out there are like, you old farts. <laughs> <laughs> That's a trivia question from the 80s. That is. <laughs> yeah. Big swing there. Well, Spike, I think, still can be found courtside at New York Knickerbocker game. Yeah, he likes to run his mouth at those yes, games for does. sure. <laughs> he's right in the front row, I think. He he's on the floor. I think the players probably enjoy that. I've been waiting for the Knicks to get into the finals for many, many years. I was, was hoping they'd do it the Patrick Ewing days, but he never made it. Ooh, good that pitch. That was a strikeout. Yeah. Two strikeouts in a row for Yaden Miller, and Scoopers needed that. Two away. Got the corner of the strike zone there. Yeah, the Knicks. I'm trying to think of who's even on the Knicks this year. I couldn't even tell you. I couldn't tell you either. I just don't follow it that close. I don't think they're uh, going to be in contention this uh, year. Back in the 80s, I could tell you. 
back in the day with Patrick Ewing, and they had Mark Jackson at the point. That one is foul. Nope, that's going to be fair ball. Are they going to turn the outs? Oh, going to try and beat it to safe. the bag? Yep. <laughs> they call it safe, yeah. Yeah, Yaden Miller didn't get over there in time, and he the did first, not. first baseman, uh, Dalen Deshock, had to try to get over there himself, yep. and about a half step too late. Yep. Now batting number 18, Carter Gregory. So Gregory heads to the plate now, Carter Gregory. And the run scored there. Brian Atkinson came across home plate. Yep, so it's 8-3. to three. RBI single for Gregory there. and that's yep, It wasn't very pretty, but... <clears throat> about the weakest RBI single it. you could get. It sure was. It, they, yep. it still counts in the scorebook. And that one is blooped off right to the first baseman. Similar situation here, and they'll tag him out. So scoopers get out of the top of the six. Three runs will score, though, for Rapid City Central. And we'll head to the bottom half of the inning and an 8-3 to three lead for the Cobblers. This is Scooper Baseball on the Big 81. Boulevard has four high-quality golf simulators with a large selection of courses and leagues. They also offer virtual games such as shooting football and baseball and have shuffle boards and cornhole. The clubhouse offers a full menu with live music on Sundays. You can host an event such as birthday parties, wedding rehearsals, dinner, or holiday parties. The Clubhouse of Spirit Fish is a proud sponsor of area high school sports on Live Ticket TV. Whether you are pregnant or planning ahead, you and your baby deserve a healthy start. We offer a wide range of services such as advocacy, health screenings and education, care coordination and car seat safety, participant empowerment, referral services and fatherhood support. To learn more about Great Plains Healthy Start, visit greatplainstravelhealth.org or call one of our five service areas today. Brought to you by Great Plains Healthy Start, so that the people may live. Do you have a pest problem? Got bats, ants, termites? Family owned and operated, Olson's Pest Technicians have had over 50 years experience taking care of pest problems in places across South Dakota, Nebraska, and Iowa. Utilizing brilliant methods such as Centricon bait stations for termites and Vicane treatment for bed bugs, there's no pest too tough for Olson's Pest Technicians. If you have pest problems, call 800 Kill Bugs. When you ask for black oh, man, I can't so we're not quite there yet. It was October. It was right around first of October, if I remember. It was fall yeah, by when I got the word that he had passed away. But yes, regardless, he brings us back. He will always be one of the greatest guitar players to ever grace the stage, if not the greatest. I agree. Yeah. I agree. You know, I, I just one of those guitarists too. Stevie Ray Vaughan was another one that. Uh, yeah. Where were you when you found out he passed Correct. away? Correct. Yeah. Well, that one at the knees, low and at the knees. Sundown pretty much now, so uh, the shadows dissipating back on the mound. Carter Utex for Rapid City Central. And yeah. Barrett Patterson at the plate. Barrett, 0 for 1. He's walked and struck out. He takes this one up high for strike one. Still a pretty good crowd here for the game tonight. Yeah, perfect night. Yeah, no wind and cool now, and it's going to cool off a bit. Probably it's get down cool to the, off here. the 50s probably by the end of this next game, yeah, 40s, not, 50s. Not quite to summer yet, so. Boy, we're darn close, though, and, you know, just to get that nice moisture over the weekend sure. and it melt it off within a day. And yep, it sounds like we're going to get more this weekend. I was, so. I was cussing it on Monday for sure <laughs> on, on I-90. That one oh, is great caught, play. picked up by the first baseman for the easy out. Brian Atkinson, great play at first base for Central. Yeah, you said the roads were not very good. No, terrible. Coming across the state on Monday. We had like whiteout conditions between Ooh. like Murdo and Kadoka. Yeah. I couldn't see the road. I had to look at the the uh, reflector posts on the uh -huh. side. Yep, that's the only way I could tell I was still on I ninety. Oh my! Yeah, it was terrible. I've, I've done been there before. Done yep. that. That one right in there for a strike. 
But we we saw a lot of cars. We saw cars go in the ditch. We saw trucks go in the ditch. Yeah. And I just said, we're just going to take it. Just, just keep going, yeah. Just slow and steady. Bryce and Heron at the plate for Sturgis. Swings on this one. Are they going to call it a strike? They will. Strike two, 0-2. Oh that one actually got past the catcher, but it may have been ticked by Bryce and Heron. So the count, 0-2. Oh Heron with a, a single and a walk and a stolen base and a run scored this evening. And he swings, and Big that's hit. a base hit out of the left field. Scoopers needed that. Oh, got past the left fielder. Oh, it sure did, and it's still going. So that what should have been a single is going to turn into a double for Heron. So a mistake out there for the left fielder in Rapid City Central. Levi Rostern out in left field for Central. Not happy with himself. Sometimes as an outfielder, you'll charge that ball coming in, and you're, you lift your head up to see where the runner is, and it gets underneath your mitt. I think, I think that's what's happened to, uh, to Rostern out there in left field. Andrew Jeske now at the plate for the scoops. Trying to make something happen here, and he swings on this one, fouls it back into the chain link fence. Yeah, thanks to our good friend Greg Harrington, brought us the world's greatest hot dogs oh, here. Nothing beats a ballpark, Frank. So good. They plump when you cook them. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. So it popped into my you head. You remember that, oh, old, yeah. that oh, old saying? Stone. Here comes a stolen base. They tag him out, didn't they? they him out, didn't no, he made it, I think. He did. He was able to steal third base. Boy, he did not beat that tag by much. Yeah, Bryce Actually, Harrington. you know what? I don't think the third baseman was on the bag. I think that's why he was safe. Yeah, he, he had tried to tag him, and he yeah. didn't. Yeah, he didn't he get the tag. The bag. Didn't yeah. get the tag down in time. Yeah, Coach Rodriguez for Sturgis trying to make something happen. Oh, the yeah. Scoopers need some offense here. Going well, just inside, ball one. Count goes one and two. Just one away, and Andrew Jeske. Mm -hmm. Desperate need of a hit here for the Sturgis Scoopers. One ball, two strikes. One true pitch coming. Oh, Ooh. got him swinging outside on that one. Yep, struck him out. Stretching Boy. for it. Yep, great pitch. Third strikeout for uh, Utecht. And two away. Dalen DeShock will round out the batting order here for Sturgis as he'll come to the plate. So two gone. Swings on this one. Dribbler. Picked up by the shortstop. That's going to be a long throw to first, and they turn it. it. Yep. Out number three. Scoopers can't get the runner across. It's eight to three, and we head to the seventh inning after this. After this. To the hospital, you ask for someone who believes in hospitality. You ask for someone who treats everyone like a VIP and believes the absolute best shouldn't cost more and makes you feel comfortable even when you are vulnerable. You ask for someone who cares about the little things as much as the big things. You ask for someone who treats you like you are loved because you are. Black Hills Surgical Hospital. Ask for us by name. Advertising could be a struggle. Where to spend your money? Are you reaching the right audience? If you are looking for an effective method that reaches a large fan base at once, then here's your ticket with Live Ticket TV. With over 90 schools in the state of South Dakota, we can help you advertise locally with just your home team or reach the region and state. Plus, a portion of all sales go directly back to the school. Get a hold of Dylan Kessler today and let's get started in building your brand with Live Ticket TV. Whether you are pregnant or planning ahead, you and your baby deserve a healthy start. We offer a wide range of services such as advocacy, health screenings and education, care coordination and car seat safety, participant empowerment, referral services, and fatherhood support. To learn more about Great Plains Healthy Start, visit greatplainstravelhealth.org or call one of our five service areas today. Brought to you by Great Plains Healthy Start, so that the people may live. Scoopers just really having trouble generating offense. They've gotten some Got some runners on base, but looking at the st statistics here, six left on base with three runs scored. So the Scoopers 
kind of leaving some ducks on the pond out there. Can't seem to get anybody across, across home plate in the last couple of innings. So let's see if they can make quick work of the Cobblers here in the top of the seventh and then give it a glass go here in the bottom of the seventh. Nate Malix first up for the Rapid City Central. He fouls that one off. Yaden Miller back on the mound for the Scoopers. Yaden at 49 pitches now. His third inning on the mound. That one low and inside. One ball, one strike to Malix. Even count as we're underway here, top of the seventh inning. Malix takes that one down low for ball two. That was down in the lovely metropolis of Alliance, Nebraska today. Alliance, Nebraska is how far from here? Ah, it's about almost three hours. Well, you're almost to Denver. Yeah. <laughs> Way to Denver. It seemed like it, yeah. yeah. I mean, it's, that's where, I think that's where Carhenge is, you know. Oh, that's the, where Carhenge is. Yeah. Yes, I know Carhenge, yeah. I, I went to the library, met with someone, drove back. It was quick. So you didn't get a chance to go through Car Hands, but you've been there before. I have, yeah. yeah. I had some time to kill one time. I said, i got to go see Car Hands. Sure. It's worth seeing if you've never been there. It's probably a little more exciting than the largest ball of twine. <laughs> count goes to three, three and two. No, it's better, it's better than that. It's kind of cool. What about Otto the Otter <laughs> in Fergus Falls, Minnesota? I'm I still want to go see Otto the Otter. Never seen that. I want to go see it one of these days. The Jolly Green Giant? Yeah, I've, I don't know if I've seen the Jolly Green Giant either. Malix walks. And Central gets a runner on base. You know, driving down I-90 through Minnesota, you go through Blue, you know, Blue Earth, Minnesota. Blue Earth. Yep. And you can yep. see it from the interstate if you look close enough. I think I have seen it, but I don't think we've ever walked like gone up to. I heard him as I drove by. Ho, ho, ho. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Outside. I'm full God, of jokes. Right. I'm full of jokes You tonight, are full sorry. of it tonight, huh? <laughs> It's been a while since we've been at a game. Kyler Henstein is at the play. It's been a month or yeah, two. Yeah, you called the final basketball game yeah. of the year by yourself out in Sioux Falls. That was a tough one. That was a tough one, wasn't it? They were yeah. sorry to see the basketball season yep, end. Yep, yep, a lot, a lot of great strides made by both teams and looking forward to a really good season next year for both teams. But Harrisburg was my pick to win it all. They didn't, but they had a pretty good show. That's going to drop in center field, yep. Henstein, that's his third hit. Three for four at the plate. Central keeps it going here at the top of the seventh. Yeah, they looked really good against us, but uh, yeah, got to the state double A's. And just didn't, uh, what did they have? What that first round game? I think they were in the third, fourth place. Okay. Eight to three lead for the Copper. This one high and outside. Make the U-check at the plate, number one. Two on, no outs for Rapid City Central. <laughs> one ball, no strike. Here comes the pitch. And outside, ball two. Wing has the ball but the finish here. That's strong. That one in there, ball three, so a 3-0 pitch coming from Miller. Ten hits so far for Rapid City Central. Been pretty productive this game. Yeah. Good pitch. That one in there for a strike. You get the 3-1 to count. Listen to some Dan Patrick on the way down to Alliance. Always oh. fun to listen to the Dan Patrick show. Outside ball four. Now the bases are loaded with nobody out. Yeah. Is Kurt Rodriguez going to call time here? I don't know if he's going to switch pitchers here, but we're late in this one. We need pitchers for game two coming up. They decide to do here with the bases loaded, nobody out. 
free lead for the Cowboys. Dan Patrick was talking with Charles Barkley today. Oh, I oh, that was interesting. Always entertaining. Jerry Anderson is a well-known person. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure if they, were wave, they might not have been waving well, at me. True. It might have been to the uh, announcer's side, but I, I didn't want to be rude. The only other, the only <laughs> other person who gets waved at more than you is Tim Potts. I think Tim Potts knows everybody. He does. And he's he's equal opportunity friendly to everybody. <laughs> he is equal opportunity friendly. And I've he, never seen the bad side of him. No, no. I, I've you know I've seen him a little angry at times. Usually at me for something I yeah. did, but uh, yeah. no, he he's he takes pictures of every town here in the hills uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. for sports. But he loves it. He, he does. He likes That's to be busy, and when he's not skiing or running with Stella, he's taking pictures of sports. And then he's at the brewery with the rest of us. <laughs> one ball, no strikes. That one yeah, down low. That be a mark that came in, and we were down there. I guess a couple weeks. Ago. Nice. Uh, Atkinson, a dangerous hitter. You can see left fielder Andrew Jeske <laughs> near the fence. He's been burned a couple of times by Atkinson this, this afternoon. Miller stayed in, by the way, so he's still on the mound. Yeah, and three balls, no strikes here. Jaron Andrew Jeske about 15 feet from the wall in left field. Yeah, got a strike there, so the count will go three and one. Base is loaded for Rapid City Center. Atkinson thinking, if I can really get a hold of one here. It's close to a home run on his last time at bat. It was. Ooh. And that one passed ball. It's ball four anyway. So runner, one runner comes in. And it is nine to three. In favor of Rapid City Central. The third walk this inning for is, yep. Yaden Miller. The bases are loaded again. Remain loaded, I should say. And that one blooped. Foul ball. Right over us here in the press box. I just had a friend send me a, a, a video of that Yankees announcer that got hit by the foul ball a few years That's ago. That's right. i seen that, yeah. I'm like, are you trying to jinx us or something? Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> He's been close. Yeah, he wasn't times. even paying attention, and it bounced off his dog end. Yeah, I think yeah. it bounced off maybe the front yeah. of the booth and yeah, right off his right face. Off his face yeah. Broke his glasses. And he was okay. Went on to finish another Yankees call. Even count, one and one. Yeah, big swing and a miss there. Four strike two. Still nobody out. Still trying to get that first out here at the top of the seventh inning, down nine to three. They just will have some work to do at the bottom of the seventh. Yeah, sure one, two, six coming and struck him out. Out number one. Third strikeout for Yaden Miller. One away, bases will stay loaded. Stoller to the plate.
good night. He's three for four. Two RBI. In prime position here to get a couple more RBI if he gets a base hit. Take up some low on his side for ball one. Nothing in the fifth to the Cubbies. They've had two or three double digit losses this season already. And the season's are really. They've got one win. They did beat the D back nine to five a few nights ago, but it's been a solid disappointment to start the season. One ball, no strikes. Uh oh, we got a runner and a pickle here. And they're going to throw home. Oh, oh terrible <laughs> choice. And the runner comes home. And runner at third base. Well, you know, you just needed the one out. You got the runner and a pickle between first and second. Tag yeah, him out yeah. for the third. I'm not sure where that throw to home just would a, even factor into that situation. Yeah, I think just a reaction yeah. by Yaden Miller. Yeah, exactly right. They're between first and second, such close proximity to where yeah. he was, but... Uh, he saw the, the runner threatening to come home and just a reaction throw, I think, by Yaden Miller. Twelve to three is the score. Yeah, Colorado one and five on the season, yeah. so it's early. It just had that one win against the D backs. And that one up high, ball three. Three and all the count for Rose. With the runner on third. Rest of the bases are empty here. Top of the seventh. Good pitch. And that one's in there for a strike, yep. It looked like an angry pitch by Yaden Miller. Yep. <laughs> Mad at himself for that throw yep. to, to home plate. Count three and one. Mm. That's ball four. First and third are loaded up again for Rapid City Central. And that will send Carter Gregory to the plate. Carter Gregory. Four walks this inning for Miller. <laughs> Top of the seventh inning, Scoopers will have one chance at the bottom of the inning coming up. That first pitch outside the strike zone, ball one. And that one is down low, ball two. So two balls, no strikes. Scooper is trying to get out of the top of the seventh here. That one in there for a strike. Good pitch. Two won the count. So who were you pulling for in the women's final four? Oh, got to pull for Iowa. Yep. For sure. Do you think they're favored? Um, it depends on who they play. If they end up playing South Carolina, I don't think so. I think UConn will give them some trouble, too, in the final four. That's what Chuck, uh, Chuck Barkley, yep. he says he's picking UConn. He thinks that they're playing really well right now. Well, I think Iowa's playing really well. I think it's more than just yeah. Caitlin Clark, and they showed that against LSU the other night. Yeah, that was a fun game. Yeah. Most watched women's basketball game ever, they said. Really? Yep. Wow. Nielsen ratings came out today. And <clears throat> in fact, it beat some of the 
classic men's games. Yeah, UConn. It had more people watching. UConn and Iowa, NC State, South Carolina. So it's, yeah, two. And two NC great games. State, for the first time, we've had both men and women are in the final four. How about that? It's incredible. North Carolina State men are in the final four, and North Carolina State women are in the final four. And that's a walk. Bases are loaded, so we're still going here. Top of the seventh inning. This has been an extra long top of the seventh inning for the scoop. Two away. We're back to Nate Malix. Yep. He let off this inning with a walk. And he takes strike one. Yeah, Charles Barkley said he wanted to go see an Iowa game in Iowa City, but he goes, it's in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> that went up high ball one. I didn't know how to get there. <laughs> like Chuck, there are airports near there. <laughs> there are. There are several airports in the state, the great state of Iowa. This one uh, down low. Plus, he's loaded. He don't have any problem getting a jet airplane. Well, somewhere. that's what Dan Patrick asked him. Don't you have access to a private jet? Yeah. He, goes, he said, it's like $25,000. And Dan oh, Patrick said, you got that kind of money. That's like, for, for him, that's like us buying a bag of beef juice. Come on, Carl. <laughs> but he said, he goes, yeah, I've got that kind of money, but I want to keep it. <laughs> two and two is the count. So he'll fly first class somewhere. I ran into him in Rapid City one time. That's I think I told said. you that story, yeah. That one up high, ball three, whole count coming. He was playing at a charity golf tournament at Red Rocks, and I ran into him at the Rapid City Airport. He was trying to trying to remain anonymous. I'm like, I'm sure he was. You can't be anonymous. You're Charles Barkley. <laughs> I made him take a picture with me. Did you really? I did. <laughs> yeah. Look at you. I shamed him into it. Big ah. swing and a strikeout. Finally, Scoopers get out of the top of the seventh inning. They had a lot of work to Ooh. do here. Bottom of the seventh, though, they're down 12 to 3. We'll see what they can do when we come back at the 60 second time. As your welcoming neighbor, the American in Madison, South Dakota offers genuine hospitality. You'll feel right at home with their friendly service, free Wi-Fi, hot home-style breakfast every morning, and a heated indoor pool. Their number one priority is making guests feel right at home, offering comfortable accommodations and a caring staff that ensures every stay is memorable. Whether you're traveling for business, visiting friends or family, or just discovering a new destination around Madison, book a room with the American in Madison, South Dakota. When you ask for Black Hills Surgical Hospital, you ask for someone who believes in hospitality. You ask for someone who treats everyone like a VIP and believes the absolute best shouldn't cost more and makes you feel comfortable, even when you are vulnerable. You ask for someone who cares about the little things as much as the big things. You ask for someone who treats you like you are loved because you are. Black Hills Surgical Hospital. Ask for us by name. The Clubhouse of Spearfish, located on East Colorado Boulevard, has four high-quality golf simulators with a large selection of courses and leagues. They also offer virtual games such as shooting football and baseball and have shuffleboards and cornhole. The Clubhouse offers a full menu with live music on Sundays. You can host events such as birthday parties, wedding rehearsals, dinner, or holiday parties. The Clubhouse of Spearfish is a proud sponsor of area high school sports on Live Ticket TV. Whether you're pregnant or pregnant. I want leading off the bottom of the seventh inning. Cooper's need a lot of runs here. Get back in this one, down 12 to three. <laughs> it's Bo like Peter's walk-up song, yeah. sound like a, a beer got barrel polka. Like a, yeah, got some accordion music there. Huh? I like one it. Down low for ball one. Carter Utecht still on the mound for Rapid City Central. Interesting story about that polka music. Hang on just a sec. Keep you in suspense. This one up high, ball two. So back when the FM, when we had the FM here, KRCS and it was country, we used to play a polka countdown show on. Really? And it came to us on cassette. Oh, <laughs> we'd wow. We'd play it off cassette. That's There's a memory for you. Sure. Two balls, one strike now. Good pitch. Yeah, the top ten polka countdown, I think it was called. 
That's how long we've been in radio. That's how long we've been in radio. And it <laughs> was on <laughs> both sides of the cassette. So when it did that oh break gosh. on the end of the first That's side, you had crazy. to flip it over. And, of oh. course, during this time, you're flipping over the cassette and playing commercials off carts. Lovely. Us DJs had it bad back in the day. Yeah, no, it's we easy now. We worked our tails it? off. It's now easy. it's easy. Carts, cassettes, queuing up records. Big swing on this one. That's going to be a base hit out in the left field. Scoopers needed that. See if Peters can stretch it into a double. And he's going he's for going it. He's going to. Yep. He's going to set him he's on the down second. Low, he's there. Safe. Yep. Big hit for Bo Peters. Yep. Scoopers needed that. Fourth hit given up by Carter Utecht. Third hit of the night for Bo Peters. That'll send Jake Peters to the plate. I know I've worked. I've worked with reel to reel. I've worked with vinyl, oh, yes. CD, cart. Now it's all digital, and, and now it's all digital and on computer. I yeah. always think if you know when the computer crashes, what do we do? Well, we're off the air because <laughs> we don't have any cart players anymore. I know there's no reel to reel players. There's not even compact disc players What's in the many radio stations. What's nowadays? the backup plan? <laughs> there is no backup there is plan. No You're backup just plan. out. Yeah, <laughs> you just got to talk. Yep. 12-3 lead for Rapid City Central. Big swing. He fouls this one into the fence. So the count one and one. Central trying to wrap this one up here. Scoopers have other ideas. Lead off hit here for Bo Peters on second base. Jake Peters takes this one. That's a pass ball, and that will allow Bo to get to third base. Thought about coming home, but that wild pitch picked up by Rose. So two balls, one strike will be the count when we return the ball to the pitcher. And Jake Peters gets comes back up to home plate. Swings on this Good one. That one's going to go out in the left field. It's going to drop. Bo Peters comes home to the score. It's 12-4. to four. RBI single for Jake Peters. Scooper's not going away quietly here. Well, you couldn't ask for it to start yeah. any better here on the bottom of the seventh. Hey, George Hamer to the plate now. Hamer will prep for this first pitch. And he swings. Ooh, drove it center deep. Field. He's going to burn the center and fielder. No. no. It's caught out there by the center fielder. Wow. <laughs> yeah, Solano in center field charged My goodness, first. And it looked, looked like it was going to go over his head, but backtracked yeah. quickly and made the catch on Hamer. Yep. Center fielder, number 12, that would have been Zander. a... Uh, Probably a run scored there. I'm thinking so. One away for the scoops. Jake Peters on first. Big swing. That's a hit out in the right field, and that's going to allow right runners field. go first and second now. First and second, one out for the scoopers. Scoopers now, feeling it now all of a sudden here in the bottom right of the there. seventh. Brady Royer comes to the plate. <laughs> Interesting walk-up song. Yes. Runners on first and second. One away for the scoops here. Bottom of the seventh. They're down 12 to four. And that pitch is Ooh. wild, and they're going to allow the runners to get to second and third. Yep. The scoopers having to be a little extra aggressive yep. on the base paths and taking advantage of every little mistake Central is doing here in this seventh inning. One ball, no strike is the count. And now that turns into a even count, one and one. Good Royer pitch. at the plate. Sorry. <clears throat> yeah, good pitch right down the middle by Carter Utecht.
Royer does not swing on that one. Takes ball two. Two balls, one strike for Royer. Runners on second and third for the scoops. Oh, there's another pass ball. Here comes another scooper run. Can he get there? Oh, no, safe at home. Ooh. And it's 12 to 5, just beating the tag at home plate. Jake Peters. It's Jake Peters, and the Scoopers make it 12 to 5. With one away, things getting interesting here. That was a close call at the sure plate. It sure was close. Just got his hand underneath the tag. So three balls, one strike. Is the count for Royer, and he walks. Royer heads to first. Royer takes the walk down the first base. Here comes the central coach. I think he was hoping to get out of this game with Utech. I don't know if he'll make a switch or if he's just going to talk to Utech. Yeah, I don't know. It's, 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 you know, two outs away from a win. But Utech kind of getting beat up here in the yeah, bottom of the sure seventh is. inning. It's like they may, may just talk. They're not showing any signs of pulling Utech here. I think they'll keep him in there. Looks like it, yep. Yeah. <laughs> theme for Jaws. Theme from Jaws plays. <laughs> so a 12-5 lead was 12-3 heading into the bottom of the seventh. Scoopers have put a couple of runs across here with one away. And two aboard. The runners on the corners, yep. Barrett Patterson looking for his first hit. He's 0 for 2. He's walked once. Sure. He is six in the batting order. Coach Eris Rodriguez telling him to be extra aggressive. And a stolen base. Central will not even contest it. So now runners are on second and third for the Scoopers. We count on one. Ooh, that one down low. And the dirt, another pass ball, and another run scores. Oh, my. 12 6. <laughs> well, stranger things have happened. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes you, you could feel the momentum shift here in the bottom of the seventh. And Xander Heller is run number six. Scoopers and one aboard. Patterson, the designated hitter. Mm, takes this one up high. Ball one. Bryson Heron on deck, and Heron with a double and a single. He's had a good night at the plate. That's actually ball two, so the count now two and one. He swings. That one right to the first baseman. They're going to throw this home and try and tag out the runner, and they do. Didn't really need to come home. No, but they didn't need to come home with it. They... Could have got the easy out at first, but they'll take that one. And that's out number two, and it's now 12-6 still, but two away. Yeah, and Royer just overly aggressive just because they have to be here yep. in the bottom of the seventh. Yep. Down 12-6. to six. Well, Bryson Heron at the plate with two away. Well, that pitch way up high for ball one. One ball, no strike. Pitch coming. There it is. Swings, and he gets a piece of it. Goes into the backstop. And that'll even the count at 1-1. One, one. Yeah, it looks like uh, looking at the schedule Sunday, supposed to have a couple games against Lennox, but they've been canceled probably due yep. to the weather. Yep, supposed to rain again on Sunday, and that one is strike one and two the count now for Heron. 
Yeah, so after Friday night's game, next game will be... We have a 10 days off there, I think. Wow, yeah. okay. Which is good, That's I guess, because I'm... JV games in there, I guess. This I'm, one, bloop, foul. I'm, I'm out of town Monday through Thursday That's right. next week. You're going to Omaha. 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 The town Omaha, not the Peyton Manning call <laughs> Omaha. <laughs> Spend a few days down there for some training. Also known as... Bar hopping. Oh, no, just kidding. Gotcha. <laughs> that one is hit into right base field. Hit. That's going to be a base hit. So Scoopers refused to go away here in the bottom of the seventh. Third hit of the night for Bryson Heron. Now 12 to 6. And Jaron uh, Andrzejewski will come to the plate. Jaron with a ground out, a couple of strikeouts. And that one is a pass ball again, another wild pitch. Runners advance to second and third. It is central, the fact that they had such a big lead here has worked in their favor because they have really performed poorly here in the bottom of this seventh inning. Big swing, that is going to drop foul. Yes, Not by much. The count will be even. It'll be one and one for Andrzejewski. Another wild and pitch. Another wild pitch. <laughs> Unfortunately, though, that went in front of the home plate, which means third base third base runner didn't have any option there but to stay put. Yeah, it would have been a tough yep. tough uh, road to home, I guess. Here's the pitch. Way up Ooh. high. <laughs> another, again, almost another wild pitch. So my guess is that arm for Carter Utecht is probably getting a little tired. Yep, a little rubbery right yeah. now. That's what we used to yell at the pitchers when you're in the dugout. Pitcher's yeah. got a rubber arm. <laughs> I think it's feeling kind of rubbery right yeah. now for yeah. Carter. Three and one. That one's ball four. Boy, now the bases are loaded. Andrew Jeske takes the walk. Yeah, good patience by Andrew Jeske. Well, you know, Central's coach may have seen enough. He may have no choice but to bring in a new pitcher here with... Central leading just one more out here to put this one away. Yeah, I think here comes a relief pitcher in for Central. And Central's done messing around, I guess you could say. <laughs> they they want to put the exclamation point on this game. And they just have not been able to do it yet. So a new pitcher will warm up here for the Cobblers. Looks like we got number 16. <laughs> and I don't have numbers. Okay. So, see if that's on your... Might have to listen to the PA announcer yeah. because I got the lineup, but I didn't get the entire... Uh, no number 16 on my roster. Yeah. You and your baby deserve a healthy start. We offer a wide range of services such as advocacy, health screenings and education, care coordination and car seat safety, participant empowerment, referral services, and fatherhood support. To learn more about Great Plains Healthy Start, visit greatplainstravelhealth.org or call one of our five service areas today. Brought to you by Great Plains Healthy Start, so that the people may live. Do you have a pest problem? Got bats, ants, termites? Family owned and operated, Olson's Pest Technicians have had over 50 years experience taking care of pest problems in places across South Dakota, Nebraska, and Iowa. Utilizing brilliant methods such as Centricon bait stations for termites and Vicane treatment for bed bugs, there's no pest too tough for Olson's Pest Technicians. If you have pest problems, call 800 Kill Bugs. When you ask for Black Hills Surgical Hospital, 
You ask for someone who believes in hospitality. You ask for someone who treats everyone. Ooh, that like one you. up high Ooh. and inside for ball one. That was close to a hit by pitch. Yeah, that was over the head of Deshock. So even count, one and one. Here's the pitch. Whoa, that is a pass ball again. <laughs> and that is another errant throw at the home plate to allow a run to score. Barrett Patterson crosses the plate. Fourth run this inning for the Scoops. Now down 12 to 7. Yep. Runners on second and third. And we didn't see near this many wild throws <laughs> at home plate this whole game from Rapid City Central. Yeah, it's been almost double digits yep. <laughs> here in the yep. bottom of the seventh. Big swing and a go around there for strike two. So now even count. Two balls, two strikes, two outs, 12-7 lead for Central. Trying to put it away, and they strike out to shock and do it. So the Scoopers make it interesting here. They don't make it easy on Rapid City Central. They score three here in the bottom of the seventh, but too little too late. And Rapid City Central picks up a 12-7 victory. All right, we'll wrap it up for you. Coming up, you're listening to Sturgis Scooper Baseball on the Big 81 KBHB. 81 KBHB. When you do your grocery shopping, you like to go where you can get fresh meat and produce, low prices, and friendly service. You'll find it all at Lens Dakota Market. And believes the absolute best shouldn't cost more and makes you feel comfortable even when you are vulnerable. You ask for someone who cares about the little things as much as the big things. You ask for someone who treats you like you are loved, because you are. Black Hills Surgical Hospital. Ask for us by name. Advertising can be a struggle. Where to spend your money? Are you reaching the right audience? If you are looking for an effective method that reaches a large fan base at once, then here's your ticket with Live Ticket TV. With over 90 schools in the state of South Dakota, we can help you advertise locally with just your home team or reach the region and state. Plus, a portion of all sales go directly back to the school. Get a hold of Dylan Kessler today, and let's get started in building your brand with Live Ticket TV. Whether you are pregnant or planning ahead, you and your baby deserve a healthy start. We offer a wide range of services such as advocacy, health screenings and education, care coordination and car seat safety, participant empowerment, referral services and fatherhood support. To learn more about Great Plains Healthy Start, visit greatplainstravelhealth.org or call one of our five service areas today. Brought to you by Great Plains Healthy Start, so that the people may live. As your welcoming neighbor, the American in Madison, South Dakota offers genuine hospitality. You'll feel right at home with their friendly service, free Wi-Fi, hot homestyle breakfast every morning, and a heated indoor pool. Their number one priority is making guests feel right at home, offering comfortable accommodations and a caring staff that ensures every stay is memorable. Whether you're traveling for business, visiting friends or family, or just discovering a new destination around Madison, book a room with the American in Madison, South Dakota. When you ask for Black Hills Surgical Hospital, you ask for someone who believes in hospitality. You ask for someone who treats everyone like a VIP and believes the absolute best shouldn't cost more and makes you feel comfortable even when you are vulnerable. You ask for someone who cares about the little things as much as the big things. You ask for someone who treats you like you are loved because you are. Black Hills Surgical Hospital. Ask for us by name. The All right, game number one is in the books. It's a 12-7 lead and win for Rapid City Central as they beat the Sturgis Scoopers. And Sturgis scored first in this one. Bottom of the first inning, they led one to nothing. Short-lived. Cobbler score three, top of the third. They take a 3-1 lead. Score one, top of the fourth. They lead 4-1. Scoopers answer with two runs. Bottom of the fourth, it's 4-2. Central scores one run, top of the fifth, three runs, top of the sixth, four runs, top of the seventh. They go into the bottom of the seventh inning with a 12-3 lead, but let the Scoopers put four on the board in the bottom of that seventh inning. But they do hang on here, 12-7, despite some poor play there 
to wrap things up. Terry Anderson's got our final stats for game one. Go ahead. Okay, thanks, Gary. Sturgis finishes the night with nine hits. They left eight on base. Bo Peters, three for four at the plate with two runs batted in. George Hamer, two for four with an RBI. Xander Heller, two for four. Bryson Heron, he was three for three at the plate, two singles and a double. And Jake Peters, one for four with an RBI. Rapid City Central finished the night with 13 hits, left 11 on base, led by Steven Solano, three for four at the plate with two runs batted in. Tyler Henstein, three for four. Brian Atkinson, a couple of big bombs to left field. He was two for four, two runs batted in, and three runs scored. Leadoff man, Lakin Utech, who started the game on the mound, was two for two at the plate and scored three runs and had one run batted in. Rapid City Central takes game one of this doubleheader, 12-7 at Strong Field. The Scoopers fall here to Rapid City Central in game number one. And then we have a down internet connection back at the uh, studios. So as soon as we get connected here, we'll send you back to the studios. And uh, we'll get you ready for... Game number two here tonight in which uh, Rapid City Central and the Sturgis Scoopers will take on each other. We're going to get started a little late here. It's just going to be a late night, so if you want to crawl into bed with a cup of hot chocolate, if you actually crawl into bed with a cup of hot chocolate, I don't know. Some people do. Some people do if you want to do that and tune in to the game here tonight. We are going to bring you game two of the doubleheader here. On the Big 81, KBHP, again, still trying to connect back to the studio. This isn't good. We are connected via our tie line here, but I could not get into the wide orbit for some reason. So we might just be we uh, might just be talking for doing a minute some here. Talk radio. We might just be doing some talk radio here because we are unable to get back to the studios <laughs> here. Uh, well, we can always find something to can, talk we about. We can always find something to talk about. Let me try this again. See if we can get you back to the studio. We are still unable to connect. To the studio here. Well, you know what? I might be able to connect through my cell phone here. Yeah, well, while you're doing that, we'll go through okay. some Major League Baseball scores. There you go. Do some Major League Baseball scores. See what we have here. In, uh, oh, boy, we've got uh, that. Uh, here we go. Major League Baseball scores from ESPN. Middle of the seventh inning. Reds lead the Phillies 3-1. Bottom of the sixth, Cubbies lead the Rockies 8-2. to two. The Bottom of the fifth inning, Astros 2, Blue Jays 0. Here's some finals for you. Orioles edge the Royals 4-3. Angels win big over the Marlins 10-2. Twins 7, Brewers 3 for you Twins fans. Rangers 4, Tampa Bay Rays 1. And the Braves and the White Sox postponed tonight. More finals, Red Sox one, Oakland A's zero. Are they still the Oakland A's, Gary? They are still the Oakland A's. They have not moved to Vegas yet. They talked about moving. I think, is that going to happen? Um, It could, yes. Okay. Yankees, they win in 11 innings over the Diamondbacks, 6-5. Guardians eight, Mariners zero. That's a final. San Diego Padres three, St. Louis Cardinals two. That's a final. And another final. Uh, the Nationals from Washington. They beat the Pirates 5-3. Tigers and Mets postponed. Giants and Dodgers about to uh, first pitch about to happen here in about 10-15 minutes. Of course, a West Coast game. Timothy Potts joining us up here in the uh, in the booth. Gary trying to get us connected yeah. back to the studio. Yeah, we are being ignored by the computer back at the studio hi, for some hi, reason. Hey, hi, everyone. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> We're just killing time because we can't we can't, are, can't hook up with the studio. We are just killing time. <laughs> yep. For some reason, our card is not working. Right the card the is it's not working. disconnected. You know what? We're gonna we're gonna go through the back door here, though. We're gonna send it back to the studios, courtesy of our mobile device here and we'll be back here in just a few gary has the technology at least i think i do yes there it is all right we will send you back to the studios for a little bit and uh we'll be back here for game number two on the big 81 kbhb in just a little bit
on everything for your roofing project. Located on East Colorado Boulevard has four high quality golf simulators with a large selection of courses and leagues. They also offer virtual games such as shooting football and baseball and have shuffle boards and cornhole. The clubhouse offers a full menu with live music on Sundays. You can host events such as birthday parties, wedding rehearsals, dinner, or holiday parties. The Clubhouse of Spirit Fish is a proud sponsor of area high school sports on Live Ticket TV. Whether you are pregnant or planning ahead, you and your baby deserve a healthy start. We offer a wide range of services such as advocacy, health screenings and education, care coordination and car seat safety, participant empowerment, referral services and fatherhood support. To learn more about Great Plains Healthy Start, visit greatplainstravelhealth.org or call one of our five service areas today. Brought to you by Great Plains Healthy Start, so that the people may live. Do you have a pest problem? Got bats, ants, termites? Family owned and operated, Olson's Pest Technicians have had over 50 years experience taking care of pest problems in places across South Dakota, Nebraska, and Iowa. Utilizing brilliant methods such as Centricon bait stations for termites and Vicane treatment for bed bugs, there's no pest too tough for Olson's Pest Technicians. If you have pest problems, call 800 Kill Bugs. When you ask for black, it always be James Dean. And when we went to dinner, you wore blue jeans with your pearls. That's when I knew. 